out of 82,000 anticipated here as the Redskins and Cowboys get underway. The Cowboys are the defending NFC East champions, and they will be kicking off Brian Mitchell and James Thrash are back deep. Mitchell always a big threat. Toby Gowen will kick off for the Cowboys. Dallas a perfect 8 and 0 never before done in the division last year and the opening kickoff is short and retrieved by Mitchell on the 10 yard line. Ryan Mitchell carries it out to the 30 yard line where the Redskins will get the ball first. And for the Redskins Brad Johnson who has a 15 and 8 record that's in six years as a starter. The offensive line Andy Heck knew at left tackle. John Jansen the rookie from Michigan mans the right tackle position. Stephen Davis won the running back duel and Larry centers the former Arizona Cardinal Michael Westbrook and Albert Connell the wide receivers and Stephen Alexander the tight end. Two tight ends start for the Redskins including James Jenkins and the handoff is to Davis who crosses the 35 yard line on the first play from scrimmage. Dallas's defense and it's fast and hungry. Greg Ellis, Chad Hennings, Alonzo Spellman back in action after missing last year. Kavika Pittman, Coakley, Godfrey, and Hambrick, they can all run. Godfrey moved to the middle. And Charlie Williams and Kevin Mathis are the cornerbacks. They're backups with George Teague and the pro bowler Darren Woodson. Second down and four at the 36. Westbrook goes in motion, the pass to Connell. And Connell trying to get the first down yardage, may have it. And he apparently does at the 43 yard line with the tackle made by Charlie Williams. Well, you heard North Turner say right at the start to Pam that this was the best group of players he's had. And where that starts is the quarterback position of Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson has automatically made this team better. Now, what he does is he brings experience and he's a good reader of, of ball, all of his assets. Ball, ball. His reading ability is the best. And he's a pretty accurate passer as well, over 62% in his career. First and 10 for the Redskins on the 42. Here is Davis going off the right side. Good yardage. And Stephen Davis gets to midfield. George T brings him down. So Davis, who won the running back job over Skip Hicks from UCLA, picks up nine yards on the carry. Dick, and what you're watching right here in Stephen Davis is what you're going to get from him all season long. What it is is power. If this offensive line can give Stephen Davis this kind of a corner and just get hat on a hat, he's going to be productive. He's a north-south runner, kind of in the Riggins mold. Not as not as nifty, but he's in that, that same kind of mold. He's a pounder, and that's the kind of ball control back you like. Second down and one in Cowboy territory. Mike Sellers, the second tight end, and they're going to Davis. First down to the 45 of the Cowboys, so... The Washington Redskins who finished strong and were three and one in preseason and looked the best in preseason in the last several years. Dick just watching this right now two things become obvious. Number one North Turner in four plays has given him four different formations and number two and most importantly the Redskin offensive line right now is is taking it to the defensive front of the Dallas Cowboys. It is not a big front and they've got to rely on quickness to the Cowboys first down on the 30. 45 yard line and uh, Brad Johnson going underneath to Michael Westbrook and losing the helmet was the cowboy who made the tackle and that was the middle linebacker Randall Godfrey who was an outside backer a year ago. You watch this Dallas defense to echo what you just said Dick they can flat out run they're not a big group in fact they're kind of light in the rear end up front. But what they get away with is everybody running to the football all the time and they and they play hard. One thing they do is they play a little soft at the point of contact which that personally I don't like. Second and nine at the 44 and here is a fake end around trying to set up the screen is Grant oh, nice. Johnson and he's got Westbrook who makes the reception and gets a first down for the Redskins. Talk about ad living and the Redskins get 12 on the play and a flag is down as well. And an eligible receiver downfield is the preliminary call and we'll hear the ruling from Walt Coleman our referee. An eligible downfield prior to the pass offense number 77 five yards repeat second down. That's Trey Johnson the offensive guard 
He's going to be right here. And, and remember, here's the off. Here's the line of scrimmage. He can't get past this. Lonzo Spellman right there does a phenomenal job of taking this screen away. But to go back to what Brad Johnson does so well, the play's designed to go here. He sees the field and hits it to the other side. A lot of good things happen out there. So the five-yard penalty brings it back to the Cowboy 49. An all-out blitz and the quick toss oh, nice. is dropped. And Brad Johnson knew he had to get rid of it in a hurry. And the pass to Westbrook was broken up by Dexter Copley. It is opening day, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys have had the Redskins number winning five, losing one and tying one in opening games against the Redskins. Remember a year ago, Matt lost their first seven games. They got into a hole with their loss to the Giants in the opener, never recovered. And now they're trying to reverse it in game one against their big rivals. Well, they're, they're better than they were a year ago. There's no question about that. And that doesn't guarantee success. It just tells you that you have a chance for success. Out of the shotgun with uh, Irving Fryer in the game for the first time, the veteran receiver. And the pass underneath to Fryer Makes will no be sense. well short of the first down. And the, yeah, you got to wonder why you would get a pass pattern to leave you 11 yards short. Well, and, and there's two ways of looking at it. You look at it from that side and say, what the heck are you doing on offense? Or you can look at it the other side and say, that's good defense. Because what they did was they took away the two options he had down the field and forced him to throw underneath. So Matt Turk, a Pro Bowl perennial punter, will be kicking to rookie Wayne McGarity from Texas. On fourth down, so the penalty hurt the Redskins in that drive. Fair catch called for by McGarity, and this kick goes into the end zone, and that's not what Turk wanted to do. He did not do his job. He wanted to keep it in play. It's a touchback, and we'll be right back. And a tough one because it uh, had to do with the uh, bone and ligament damage, and that's rare for a toe injury, according to Chan Gailey, the head coach, but uh, he's very close to getting back. Cowboys getting the ball for their first possession of the year. First down on the 20. Three wide receivers, including Ernie Mills in there. Troy Aikman under pressure, and down he goes. And that was Marco Coleman, the new addition. And what a spark he's given them, former San Diego Charger. Let's check out the Cowboys offense. Troy Aikman, third in NFL history in accuracy. And the offensive line, and Matt has talked about him. Adams, Allen, Stepnoski, he's key. McIver is healthy, and Eric Williams. Emma Smith and Darrell Johnson, the backs. Rocket Ismail, the new wide receiver. And David LaFleur, the tight end. Loss of seven on the play. And this crowd very much into it as Aikman's pass is caught by Irvin and he gets by Champ Bailey and gets the first down and gets into Redskin territory. So Bailey on Irvin and Irvin wins that one to the tune of 33 yards. You know Dick if you listen to our pregame show you heard heard the boys talking about this matchup. It's Champ Bailey the rookie number 24 on Michael Irvin. We talked about the pushing and shoving. See that little push right there just allows for some separation and then Aikman who's as accurate as there is has the ball right where it has to be. This is going to be a big game for Champ Bailey. It's a kind of game that he's going to learn a lot and grow up in a hurry. Here's Emmett Smith with his first carry, trying to go outside. Gets by Darrell Green. And tremendous speed by Emmett Smith, who had a big rebounding year a season ago, and he picks up 13 yards. The Redskins defense, and this is where it looks like they've shown improvement coming in. Coleman, the new addition, Stubblefield and Wilkinson, the tackles, and Kennard Lang, the other end. Barber, Smith, and Jones, the linebackers. Derek Smith moving to the middle this year. Bailey joins Green at the corners, Liam on Evans, and the former Bengals, Sam Shade, is the strong safety. At the 39, the pitch to Emmett Smith. And with Darrell Johnston blocking, Smith gets to the 35-yard line for a short gain, and Derek Smith, the middle linebacker, on the play. Hey, talking to Emmett Smith last night, what a difference in Emmett Smith. I mean, you remember back to his rookie year, just 10 years ago, and he was quiet, reticent, kind of reserved, had big eyes, didn't really know what to expect, and he's turned into such a mature, solid, confident guy. It's really impressive and really good to see. And he wants to do even more than uh, Chan Gailey is planned for him. At age 30, second and six, Aikman has time. Too much. Looking for a receiver, and he finds one short of the first down, and that's 
Ragib Ismail, the former Carolina Panther, coming off his best year, and he'll be the speed receiver on this team. But they are short of the first down by about a yard and a half. And this is the kind of football that the Dallas Cowboys like to get into. Th this is the kind of third down situations they like to be in. Third and two and short. And that may feel their offensive line is the big difference maker in these situations. Third and two. And the fake pitch. And the rollout and Aikman's pass and it is caught at the 20 yard line and a catch by a rocket Ismail. He didn't need the Rockets that time but it is sufficient for a Cowboy first down and a pickup of 12. Now there's two Rockets going at each other down there. I want you to watch right here. This is the intended receiver Bjornsson coming across. That's who Aikman wants to see. Leomon Evans does a good job of taking that away and because of that he has to go to his secondary which is speed on speed. Rocket Ismail working on Daryl Green. He just comes back to the ball nicely and again the accuracy of Aikman is there and it's a first down. Cowboys on the Redskin 19. Aikman trying to go to the tight end Lafleur and covered well by Smith and Shade downfield. Opening drives have been uh, very tough for the Dallas Cowboys. They have not scored a touchdown on the first drive of the game in their last 39 and they're trying to break that string here with 717 to go in the first quarter. Jeff Ogden has checked in at wide receiver Michael Irvin has gone out of the game. Second down and 10. Ismail lining up to the top. Emmett Smith looking for running room. Being challenged. And down he goes. Leomont Evans. Good penetration by the free safety of the Redskins will bring up third and long. That's that's a nice read by Leomont Evans, and that is an upgrade for the Washington Redskins. In the last few years, their safety positions, in my I thought they were pathetic, to be honest with you. I would have cut them a long time ago. Leomont Evans was back there, but he switched positions. This is a fine job of reading things in front of you and then being decisive. You know, you have to be aggressive in attack because if you sit and wait, they're going to come right at you. Pathetic is not a word you use very often. Yeah, well, watching those safeties, it was one I used a lot. Third and 11. Aikman in the shotgun. And a flag. And uh, it appears to be in the middle of the line. Usually the guy who points first is the guilty party. <laughs> Kennard Lang put his hand up right away. And now uh, he's looking back inside say hey the guy moved. Now that's you know you'll try that after a couple years. Encroachment. 90 of the defense. Five yards. Well, it, Still third down. Well the pointing didn't work for Lang that time. And uh, a five yard penalty marked off. And that'll bring up third down and about six. So, the first penalty really hurt the Redskins on offense and let's see if this one comes back to haunt them. You see now that kind of penalty there would drive me nuts because that's about discipline. That's something you can control. An inadvertent face mask or you know guys get held those kinds of things. That's understandable but not concentrating on the snap count is inexcusable. This is the ninth play of the drive. Aikman up the middle the pass caught. A touchdown David LaFleur the tight end with a fine grab with the defender Sam Shade on his back and the Cowboys finally score on the first drive of the game for the first time in 40 games Dick, that was all about the protection for Troy Aikman they came with a blitz and LaFleur is able to work one on one outside with Shade Shade was holding the outside Aikman saw that so he waited for him to come back underneath. All of that is made possible by the offensive line in the back picking up the blitz. He has the time. It's like stealing. 15 yard pass play and now Richie Cunningham is aboard to uh, try to give the Cowboys an early seven to nothing lead. So two penalties hurting the Redskins one on uh, each side of the ball in this first quarter Cunningham's kick is good. And the Dallas Cowboys lead the Washington Redskins seven to nothing with just under six minutes to go in the first. You guys are in here again. I can't believe this. You're always in here. Never
final game of the season and that's all these guys care about in this stage of their career Well, because they understand that's all that really matters you know you don't go through a season and say you know that I tell you what that 94 season boy we were seven and eight or we were seven and nine or we you know that's no good you know it when you win it there's only one successful team a year or even ten and six if you lose in the first round of the playoffs Brian Mitchell returning the kickoff and fights his way to the 20 yard line. Jan Gailey with a lot of body English of his own in his second year as coach. He won the division in his first. To prove Ross, Moss wants to prove that he belongs every year. Jamal Anderson the same way. Redskins start from the 21 yard line, trailing 7 0. And the handoff to Stephen Davis, good running room. And a good point earlier that the Redskins offensive line doing the job thus far. Let's go back to that touchdown and watch exactly what happens when you get good protection. They're going to come with the blitz. I want you to watch Emmett Smith because he's the key. They come with the blitz to this side. They want to overload this right side. Emmett is right on his protection and picks it up. And because of that, Aikman has the time to, to be able to see the field and catch LaFleur to the inside and it's six quick. Second down and four. Brad Johnson with a quick toss to Westbrook. Michael Westbrook. A huge game for the Redskins as Westbrook broke the first tackle and then went down the field and gained 59 yards before Darren Woodson caught him. You can go back again and credit the vision and the wherewithal of that quarterback. This did not happen very often in prior years. They came with a blitz. The quarterback and the wide receiver have got to be on the same page. They did that. He clips it underneath. Ball's thrown perfectly. Watch it's coming inside. He's got to see it. He sees it. Westbrook also has to see it. Break his route off inside. That was done. Missed the tackle. Big play. Westbrook coming back from a neck injury missed six games a year ago first down on the 14 yard line Stephen Davis who has been running well in this first quarter picks up about four yards on the play right now for an NFL update let's return to James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey Dick I know Matt knows this guy too well take a look at Deuce Staley here good blocking nice cutback good footwork Philly's second possession of the game he finds pay dirt. Philadelphia on top of the card, 7 0. Let's take it back to Dick and Matt. You know, Matt, they've got a great defense. Andy Reid, first year as coach. I think the biggest thing is their defense. They're underrated. They're going to win. They're going to be in some games because of that defense. Second down and seven. The pass caught by Larry Centers. And out of bounds, short of the first down by about two. Larry Centers, who has been a great receiver, first the Cardinals, and a great pickup now for the Redskins. I'll be honest with you when I saw Larry Center's name on the waiver wire I thought he had to be hurt because nobody could be that stupid to let him go but apparently the Cardinals proved me wrong <laughs> because you don't let a guy like that go that's a guy who makes a difference in a football game he's refocused and he admitted he was jolted heavily when he was waived third down and three at the seven yard line Brad Johnson's pass and good pressure coming on it was Centers the man he tried to get the ball to. Dick, this is what's going on right now. The Washington Redskins are going to have to be patient with the run game because they're punching them. They're getting good body shots. And when that running game is, is working, like it seems to be working right now, you're going to get your play actions and stuff off that. The Cowboys are trying to counter that by bringing blitzes, and they're putting the pressure on the quarterback to see them. He saw him for a big play and this last one he aired because of the blitz. Brett Conway who is a third round pick by the Green Bay Packers two years ago and was waived by them injured kicks the field goal 25 yards and there's an oxymoron a Penn State kicker. What is Matt going to think. Nothing. Scoreboard in their second possession the big catch and run by Michael Westbrook 59 yards and Westbrook who is healthy seems to be refocused this year and saying that the family atmosphere that he thought he would find here with the Redskins not there in recent years so Westbrook wants to become the man that the skins thought he would be when they drafted him as the fourth pick well if he wants to be just be consistent be consistent from week one all the way through and use his skills and he can be as good as he wants to be 
Brett Conway kicking off and Jeff Ogden on the return for the Cowboys and good coverage downfield by the Redskins special teams led by Chris Thomas. Seven to three in favor of the Cowboys and Troy Aikman goes back to a lot of changes here and a lot of improvements and the ring of fame which was evident in the old RFK Stadium now here in this stadium and a lot of moves made on and off the field Daniel Snyder the 34 year old owner who is the head of Snyder Communications in Bethesda Maryland has come in no nonsense he wants the team to win and uh, right now it seems to be energized but we cannot forget the Cook legacy of 25 years of ownership here as well first down on the 18 yard line for the Dallas Cowboys showing blitz where the Redskins Aikman spotting it and his pass to Ismail incomplete flag goes down Darrell Green turns around to complain to the official either that or to look to see exactly what's going to be called and judged by what North Turner is doing with his headset and screaming this one could go against the defense oh now now Darrell's a little animated push on Daryl Green working on Rocket Ismail. The Cowboys are excited about having the complimentary receiver to Michael Irvin. Interference, defense, number 28, automatic, first down. And it comes in the form of speed, something they haven't had there over the, That one I don't like at all. That was just looks like he was, well, whatever. They're calling it, I'm making a new lease on life for me with officials. I'll yeah. believe it when I see it. I'm letting them go. Like they blew that one. I'm not saying anything about it. I like that. First down for the Cowboys after the penalty. 32 yard gain and the handoff up the middle. So the Cowboys with a little razzle dazzle, a fake end around. And Emmett Smith picks up about three yards on the play. Yeah, it's Cowboys. funny talking Dick about uh, Rocket Ismail. We we're talking to Troy Aikman. And, you know, Rocket Ismail is one of those guys who's a high energy guy and he gets excited. And Troy is telling us a story about how he got into the game and against Denver and he got so excited and he said he didn't even know <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing out there. He said Troy looked at him one place and you got the post in this one. I said, I, I don't know. He is wild tightly. He gets fired up. Second down and six at the Dallas 36 and Emmett Smith off the left side is about two yards shy of the first down. Of course, the Cowboys have been looking at many receivers to be the second receiver alongside Michael Irvin for many years. Remember, Alvin Harper led the NFL in yards per catch. Here are the others who have come in and gone, and now it's Rocket Ismail's turn. Well, and what Rocket gives them, which none of these guys did and they were looking for, is they give them speed, but more importantly than that, confidence from the quarterback. Troy Aikman has confidence in this guy, and that is immeasurable. Irvin is on the sideline on third down and two, and Emmett Smith dives head first, first down at the 47. So Smith, who had seven 100-yard games last year after two really unproductive years, he was hurt as well, picks up six on the first down. In the last few years, the other thing that's been missing, one of the ingredients in this offensive line has been their center position. And Mark Stepnoski solidifies, automatically solidifies an offensive line. It's something they've missed for the last four years, five years, whatever he's been gone, and it's really helped them now. First and 10 at the 46. Good play for oh, the Going boy. out top for the rocket, and Ismail has it jarred away in a great defensive play made by Darrell Green as he knocked the ball out of Rocket's hands. Dick, that should have been caught. That was. That was recovery by Darrell because they went play action and he bit up. Rocket Ismail ran right past everybody. And the ball hung just enough for Darrell to recover, but this should have been caught. This ball has to be caught. There's time. You can see he runs right by. Now Darrell Green's going to close. Look at his close. That's as good as that's as good as there's going to be. But that should have been that should have been six points. But a great recovery by Darrell, who was on his way down on the play. Second and ten, Chris Warren has come in at running back, and Warren gets the call. Normally the third nice. down back for the Cowboys. Good pursuit, and Champ Bailey. Real good by Champ Bailey. That's, that's what you like to see. The young corner, the cornerbacks, as a rule, they don't like to hit anybody. I had a cornerback in Lester Hayes who was as good as there was in the National Football League. And we used to call him the judge, and I'd say, Judge, you got to come up and whack somebody. And he'd say, oh, No, 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 I'm out here to cover. That's the attitude of a lot of 
a lot of corners. This champ Bailey doesn't have that attitude. He has the attitude that he wants to be a complete player and he has all the tools. Daryl Green has played with 53 other cornerbacks in his career. He says Champ Bailey by far the best. Here he is right down here. Third and 11 and here is the blitz and Aikman on a fade pattern and the pass is ruled caught by Michael Irvin and the old pro with a great catch. <laughs> His yeah, he's doing it. He's doing that as much for himself yes. as for anybody. This whole thing starts up front. First of all, look automatically where he's looking. He knew that he had the rookie working outside on Michael Irvin. And he's betting on Michael Irvin's ability to get open. It's not about foot speed. It's about precision and body position. And that's what he did right there because Champ Bailey had the speed to stay with him. Actually mistimed that thing. He jumped too early. And the precision of the ball from Aikman makes it a big play. 27 yards big play Matt and a first down for the Cowboys at the 29 of the Redskins. Ernie Mills went in motion but here is the tight end oh, who can't nice. hold on to it. Nice and job. LaFleur did not have possession. That is an incomplete pass. Dick, that is right there. Great recovery. Something you wouldn't have gotten last year out of your middle linebacker. This is Derek Smith and what he brings to the table that they didn't have a year ago is movement and better speed. You're going to watch him inside. He stands, he stays inside. They're going to get behind him. Now watch him recover and strip right there. There's the strip that should have been a completion, but because of his ability to move and awareness stripping there, that's a big play and sets up second down. That's two should have uh, on this drive. Exactly right. One second remaining in the first quarter. Second down and 10. And they uh, oh, end open. around to Rocket Ismail. Putting on the burgers now. And Ismail will have a first down as time runs out in the first quarter. So Rocket Ismail on the end around. Picks up 15 yards. And Sean Barber knocked him out of bounds. And that is the end of the first quarter with a score. The Cowboys 7 and the Redskins 3. The job done. The crowd very much into it on a perfect day for football to start things in 1999. Cowboys with a first down on the Redskin 14 and Aikman calling the audible at the line here. Dallas leading 7-3. Pressure against Aikman. LaFleur makes the catch. Touchdown, nice Dallas. Play. Nice play. Nice call. Nice adjustment by Troy Aikman at the line of scrimmage. And the whole thing is made possible again by the protection of the offensive line. Yesterday, Troy Aikman said, if we're going to do well offensively, LaFleur is going to have to be a key man here. Well, he can get all this stuff done. The first thing you're watching is Troy Aikman. He sees it. He knows it's coming. Now you make your calls. Now he goes back. Everybody's picked up. Nicely done. Marco Coleman gets in a little late, but not before Aikman is able to make the throw. And what a throw it is. Watch where this ball's thrown the only place it can be. That is good coverage. That is good coverage, but an excellent job of throwing. Now Emmett Smith appears to be injured and down at the 30 yard line as you take a look at uh, LaFleur's catch. Look at that coverage. That coverage yeah. is perfect. That ball would, could not have been thrown better. So two touchdown passes from Troy Aikman to David LaFleur. Emmett Smith is up now and uh, walking off on his own power. Dick, it's amazing. You know, when we went to the intermission, a little break right here. The first thing I said is, is Chan Gailey has them off balance. And he has this offense running and he can do anything he wants. And here's the key. When you have an offensive line that's protecting and run blocking, you get to be really good as a play caller. <laughs> you can do, no. hey, let's try this one right here. Well, he's more comfortable and the players are more comfortable with him here in his second year. Richie Cunningham for the extra point. And the Cowboys now lead it 14 to 3. So David LaFleur, the tight end who must be a key element for the Cowboys, has proven so thus far. Hit in the head. Uh, he'll be back as the Cowboys go 82 yards at nine plays, which really gives their defense a chance to get a breather. LaFleur with his second TD reception from Troy Aikman. It's 14 to 3. Toby Golan kicking off. And Mitchell and Thrash, and it's a Brian Mitchell on the return. He's got running room and brought down 
And a fine play made by who else? Darren Woodson, the five-time Pro Bowler. Well, for 50 years, the stars have gathered on television's biggest night. And this year, the Emmys come to Fox. Be there as television honors its finest. The Emmy Awards pre-show coverage begins tonight live at 7 Eastern on Fox. Also broadcast in Spanish SAP. See, Got it. I'm bilingual. Speak out of both sides of your mouth. <laughs> first and 10 at the 32. Cowboys already with nine first downs. Brad Johnson trying to get things back. Goes underneath and completes to Stephen Davis for a gain of about four. Right now, let's check in with James Brown in Los Angeles. JB. Dick and Matt, the surprise in Philly continues at the three. Peterson play action. Tosses a touchdown pass to Deuce Staley. He's got one running. That one receiving 14-0 Eagles in the first. Back to Dick Stockton and Matt Miller. You know, JB, just looking at that thing, I'm, I'm, that says as much to me about Arizona as it does Philadelphia, because I know Philadelphia is not a good team. That's a great point. Although you are right about the Eagles, they're going to surprise some people. Second down and five. Stephen Davis nearly stumbles on the handoff, picks up a yard on the play. You know, Arizona with a, a big improvement this year. The question is, can they keep it going? Yeah, that will be the key. And if they can get play like like Dexter Coakley just gave right there from that Dallas defense, they'll be much better. Coakley not a big guy but Coakley brings all of what he has to the table and the biggest asset he has is great speed that time he saw it read it was decisive and hit it full speed one of the fastest if not the fastest linebacker in the league third and three and the pass caught first down and that is Steven Alexander the tight end from Oklahoma who made such an impact a year ago now the two players on this offense that the Redskins really need to play well. And one of them, one of them is Steven Alexander. The other one is Larry Sanders. And they really haven't gotten Larry Sanders involved in the mix very much at all here in this first half. First down for the Redskins with two minutes gone by here in the second quarter, trailing 14 to 3. And there is a George Teague trying to blitz. And here comes the Dallas Cowboys in on Brad Johnson, but Beautiful. And they're going to rule it incomplete. Oh, Kevin Mathis, and now a flag comes in late. Yeah, he got in on the face mask. That Kevin ball. Mathis. That ball hung just enough to allow Kevin Mathis to close, kind of like what Darryl Green did earlier. Right. Except he closed on the helmet and got up in the face, and I believe that's what they'll call. But a nice job on the front side by Brad Johnson to avoid a sack and still make that throw with all of his knee problems that's pretty good work by him yeah, we watched him Friday on practice and it, it wasn't very good it's a personal foul and you're right about the face mask and the official saw it after the initial official did not see it alertly threw the flag they got yeah. it right we have a personal foul grasping the face mask on the defense after the pass 15 yards from the previous spot. Watch the play action by Brad Johnson. They're hoping that everybody's going to attack, which they do, except they came with a blitz. Dexter Coakley came clean. Brad Johnson was able to sidestep him. And by buying that extra time, Connell can get to the inside. Now watch how the ball is thrown. See, it's a thrown up high. And because he threw it high, Mathis is able to close, and he grabbed the face mask. And they're going to call that. Anytime you get up in the face, they're going to make that call. So the Redskins to the 41 yard line have a first down. Penalties have been a big part of the story, especially from the Redskins side in this first half. Play fake. Brad Johnson getting a low to time, and there's a pass. Receiver has the defense beaten, and it's Michael Westbrook for the touchdown. That was textbook all the way. That was textbook from start to finish. 41-yard play. Anatomy of a touchdown, Dick. If you protect, you have time. You give not only your quarterback time to throw, but your receiver to have time to beat your defender. And in that instance, it's a safety, George Teague, getting locked up on a wide receiver, and that's something you have to win if you're a wide receiver. Look at the protection. Heck, not a cloud in the sky. And because of that time, 
Watch Michael Westbrook adjust to the ball. He just ran right by the safety. Teague actually got a little bit up too high. He came back inside and it was six quick. Brett Conway's extra point is good, so the Redskins come back in a big series early in this game. It is now 14 to 10. Michael Westbrook has made two big plays so far this half. will be kicking off. Jeff Ogden on the return inside the 10-yard line. Ogden with nifty moves and brings it to the 38-yard line. A great return by Jeff Ogden of 30 yards. North Turner's been fired up on the sideline down there. This is North Turner watching the replay of the face mask penalty. And he jumps right in that official's face to tell him exactly what he thinks. And it didn't stop there because it's it kept on going all the way through to even after the touchdown. This is after the touchdowns already happened. He's still after him. He's humming and humming on him and he's not going to let him go. This is kind of like Leo the Lip the Rocher. Hey, when you work the official you keep on working him. Hey, he's under the only gun. human. He's under the gun. It's all big for North Turner now. A lot of more pressure on this team than ever before. First down at the 37 yard line. Troy Aikman going deep. Oh, yeah, and the pass is incomplete for Michael Irvin with the Champ Bailey covering. And right now, for an NFL update, let's return to James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey, Matt, I heard your Arizona comment earlier. Take a look. The pressure continues. Peterson, little screen pass to Luther Broughton. He takes it 15 yards to pay dirt. Guess what? 21 0 Eagles in the second. Back to Dick Stockton and Matt Miller. I believe right now, Dick, with that defense the Eagles have, that's a win for the, for the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, the Cowboys impressive in their first two possessions, both over 80 yards, touchdowns both times. Second and 10 at the 37. Emmett Smith, by the way, back in the game after getting hit in the head. And here is David LaFleur on a quick flip. Doesn't get much. It'll be third and long with Derek Smith, who's had a good first half at linebacker for the Redskins. Derek Smith is learning. He's a work in progress, but he's made this Redskin defense better. Remember last year was Marcus Patton was a pretty good player but what Marcus was as an athlete he was not as good an athlete as Derek Smith. This guy is smoother is better in pass coverage and runs better than did Marcus. And they're working on Dan Wilkinson and Doug Brown number 78 has been in at defensive tackle. Third down and seven. For Dallas. And the flag is down. Yeah, I hear a whistle too. And a whistle blew, and it might have blown before the play started. And maybe the uh, Cowboys did not hear. And yeah, there's some motion over there on looks like on the Dallas Cowboys side. Prior to the snap, false start, 88 on the offense. Michael Irvin appealing his case to Walt Coleman to no avail. That's going to set up third and third and about what 13 or yes. so. Well, I wonder what's in the back pocket of Chan Gailey on a third and 13. He's had all the answers so far well, today. because he's had some time by his offensive line. I think right now if you're the Washington Redskins you're going to go to his zone and force you let him throw but you're going to let him throw underneath. Four wide receivers three coming out to the left. He's third. been great on you can see this on third down. He's been unstoppable. And pressure and the pass downfield. Rocket Ismail battling loose ball. Liam on Evans. It's an incomplete pass. All right, that was that was a nice call by Mike Nolan, defensive coordinator. Because he brought the extra man off the left offensive side. It's Daryl Pounds. You're gonna watch him right there. He comes clean. Nobody on him. It's gonna force Aikman to have to throw quickly. And he knows that he has rocket speed. But because he has to get rid of it fast, he puts a little bit of air underneath, and Leo Mont Evans can make the play. That's called touch by a great quarterback. But it is fourth down anyway, and Toby Gowen will be kicking to Brian Mitchell back. Early here in the second quarter, 14 to 10 in favor of the Cowboys. And Mitchell, one of the best at returns for many years. And will give the Redskins good field position just shy of the 40 yard line as Dexter Coakley makes the play. Like they could be the team they were 
a few years ago where they just had to rely on Steve Young's arm and that's a dangerous thing. Uh, there's a lot of interesting scenarios here in this opening day and it, let me say it is good to be back yes. in football. And Deion Sanders is waiting to say it's good to be back. First down at the 39 for the Redskins. Brad Johnson's pass caught by Larry Centers and Centers who always seems to do well against the Cowboys. He's a native Texan picks up a five yards on the play with Darren Hambrick who's new at his position at outside linebacker making the stop. Larry Centers has always been a Cowboy killer. It's funny talking to Darren Woodson. He was telling us boy I saw his name on the waiver wire. I said let's get him. Let's sign him right away. He kills us. He says I hate him and I'd love to have him on my team. Deion Sanders echoed the same thing, said he should be here with us. Second down and five, and the flea flicker. Davis goes back to Johnson, and the pick works to Michael Westbrook in a first down. Pulling out all the stops in game one, the flea flicker complete for 28 yards and a first down in Dallas territory. I'll go back to what I said earlier. You're, you, know, you really look good as a play caller when your offensive line gives you time. Michael Irvin, uh, Michael Irvin, he's running like he's running like <laughs> Michael, but Michael Westbrook goes inside, then bounces back outside, and because of the time, he's able to buy that that corner and hit it perfectly. Nice job. See the corner right there is anticipating the deep route, and then you use that against him, and you beat Mathis cleanly. And a first down for the Redskins. Trailing by four, and the handoff is to Stephen Davis. Good power move by Davis. Gets inside the 10 yard line on a most impressive run by Davis. Kevin Mathis finally stopped him, and it wasn't easy, and a pickup of 23. Stephen Davis is the kind of running back that the more he runs, the more confident he's going to become. And the more he goes, the better he's going to become. This is a case of vision. And a nice job of making George Teague miss in the hole. And the Redskins threaten as Davis, who won the running back duel from Skip Hicks, and showing why he did. It is first and goal at the seven. Irving Fryer is in motion, and they go to Davis, gets a good hole off the left side. Bumble. And loses the ball at the one yard line, and Dallas gets it. Uh, Costly fumble in the red zone by Stephen Davis and the Cowboys recover at about the three. Well, that was a monster hole in there. A nice job by Sims, the left guard, and Trey Johnson opened the hole wide up. Stephen Davis came into the hole and the ball just didn't quite make it. Somebody got their hand on it and pulled it out. Watch him on the inside. Nice job by Sims. Here comes Trey Johnson. Gonna have him all to himself. Teague gets his hand in there and may have popped that thing out. And Kavika Pittman. And and Kavika Kavika Pittman. Yep. Pittman was there. Teague was there. There's the ball. That was George Teague. The same guy we just faked out of his jock earlier. He threw that jock right on the ball and knocked it out. So the first turnover of the game, very costly for North Turner's Redskins. They were heading in. Cowboys from the three and the uh, handoff to Emmett Smith and talk about a good hole opening up on the left side and Smith brings it out to about the 11 where Daryl Green is there. Now if you're the Dallas Cowboys and you're Chan Gailey you'd like to have with eight and a half minutes to go you'd like to have one of those grinded out kind of drives kind of like a heart punch and you can do it with this offensive line. Well, they've had two grinded out, two 80-yard drives resulting in touchdowns thus far. Look at the total yardage edge. Washington has it. Second down and two. First down. It is. And they give it to Emmett Smith, their meal ticket, and he carries it out to the 17. That was a pickup of six. Well, if Emmett Smith is their meal ticket, then the guy who's handed him that ticket is Larry Allen. Because Larry Allen is picking up right here where he left off the last couple of years. He's the best lineman in football. And you know, and I say that, and I say that with confidence. He does a lot of things well. He's as, as good a guard as there is, and he's as good of a tackle as there is in the league. And right now, you're just handing him the ball and letting him just power. He went from right guard to left tackle, now the left guard. And 
and a whistle and a penalty. This is quite a chess game, not between defensive uh, gurus, but offensive. Uh, Prior to the snap, false start, 86, offense, five yards. Eric Bjornsson, the other tight end, LaFleur with two touchdown receptions and a false start, five yard penalty will be marked off. But we're seeing a pretty dazzling offensive show from uh, Chan Gailey and Norb Turner trying to outwit each other in the play calling department. When usually in games like this, it's the team that beats themselves that loses. Well, the Redskins popped it up on the Cowboy three. And a handoff to Emmett Smith on first and 15, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Emmett Smith had some bad times, he admitted to us yesterday, Matt, when uh, Barry Switzer was here. He said, I had injuries, and uh, they proved to be worse once the season was over, but he looked at it like a thunderstorm. Eventually it passed, and now his outlook is a lot better. Emmett Smith is a pro. And it's enjoyable to watch him. And his approach is right. Second and nine. Play action. Aikman dumps it off to Smith. Good That's defense nice by play. the Redskins. That is a very, very good play by Derek Smith. And it's set up by Sean Barber because they were going to try to hit Moose Johnston on a swing pass. And Barber took that away and forced him to have to come back underneath to throw. You know, watch right inside. Derek Smith is going to end up making the play over here. Now he stays with his coverage. Now attack it. Take away the inside. Now he was lucky. He was even too high. But because he has good feet and reaction, he made the tackle. Third and 13. Three wide receivers out of the shotgun. Aikman back to his five-yard line. Drills it, and it's intercepted. Matt Stevens. A no name on the Redskins defensive core on the pass intended for Jeff Ogden and the Redskins get it back in Dallas territory. It's the first bad pass Troy Aikman's thrown. Remember I said earlier in games like this it's the guy who beats themselves that usually loses. They're just sitting in the zone. You know watch Matt Stevens he's sitting straight down. Ogden was trying to run the in. Aikman was anticipating the clearance of that zone but Stevens never moved. He just stayed right in it. And the ball came right to him. In his fourth year from Appalachian State. Makes a big play on the defensive side for the Redskins. For a matchup right up here, man to man. First down on the 32 of Dallas, Stephen Davis, who fumbled the last time he handled the ball, picks up about four. Chad Hennings. Making the tackle for the Cowboys with 540 to go in the first quarter, the first half. A lot of stuff going on down there in the field, and it happens you know, all game long. You have your game, and then you have your game within a game. This is Albert Connell working on Kevin Mathis, and it's just, you know, which dog is bigger? And the big dog wins. And you just keep on going. And that stuff, that stuff goes all game long. And it's just this little macho dominance thing, but it works. Second down and eight, Brad Johnson goes underneath and the pass dropped by Stephen Davis. I could sense that uh, Brad Johnson could feel the Cowboy defender coming from the blind side. Which was Kavika Pittman, and he was working on Andy Heck, and he got a good jump and got to his corner. And Brad Johnson felt it and stepped up in the pocket and rushed himself a little bit too much. If the Cowboys' defensive front one of the things they really need is they need a Charles Haley like kind of player. They really don't have that guy. Roger, Roger, Roger. Remember Leon Lett out of action. Uh, Eight weeks they said on the pregame show. That was the report. Penalty marker down and oh, the nice play. shuffle pass with a flag down. Leon Lett who will be suspended for substance abuse violating the NFL loot rules. This will be against the defense five yards and in our pregame show as Matt just mentioned. The word is it could be an eight week suspension and the Cowboys surprise it didn't happen before the season started. It'll be this week. Offside 97 defense five yards repeat third down. That was Pittman. You know lost in all that it was a pretty nice play made by Greg Ellis to make that tackle. They were going to try that flip underneath. Ellis reached through and made the tackle but to no avail right now because Kavika Pittman made it an invalid play. 
Third down and three. Ryan Mitchell in the game at third down, Ooh. trying to break a tackle nice. and a fine defensive play, saving the first down by Kevin Mathis, forcing it up from the cornerback position. That was nice by Kevin Mathis, but there was a flash, I believe it was Woodson, who flashed first and flattened him out and allowed Kevin Mathis to make that tackle. It is fourth down, and uh, the crowd and some of the Redskins would like to see Norv Turner go for it on fourth and about a yard, but he's sending in his field goal team, Brett Conway, the former Penn Stater who connected on a 25 yard field goal in the first quarter. Matt Turk will be the holder. This is a 42 yard attempt. Conway booms it. It's long enough and it's perfect. And the Redskins. Now trail by a score of 14 to 13. Woodson, Mathis does no dance. That's a player. I, I really like that guy. Brent Conway with the kickoff, heading to the sideline and out of bounds. A costly kickoff that goes out of bounds, and the Cowboys will get the ball at the 40-yard line. Well, this kickoff out of bounds. biggest thing this year will be the instant replay, and uh, before two minutes of each half, each coach will have two challenges and if they are not successful it will cost them a timeout inside of two minutes of each half and over time the replay official will determine it and the referee will make the call and uh, it's interesting that uh, Chan Gailey said uh, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to challenge because I don't think we're going to see a lot of calls overturned but Norv Turner says oh, hey I'll challenge anything if I think it'll help you know I think that's a great point because everybody has their own little philosophy I'm talking to Bill Parcells you know he felt like it took away from his ability and his advantage as a coach to call a game. Everybody has their own way of doing it. It will be handled differently. And two distinct approaches in this game. First down at the 40-yard line after the kick went out of bounds. And there is a fake end around. Aikman on the screen pass. And Emma Smith. And it was Derek Smith who again is right there. Johnny on the spot. Very alert play and a loss of three. That's very good staying with your coverage. And that's about concentration. I like the change of Derek Smith inside. He's playing very well. Watch, he has his coverage. You stay with it. Now you have to filter through the linemen. There's two that are there for you. One of them was Mark Sepnoski, and he just ran underneath. And because of his athletic ability, he can make him miss and then make the play. Second down and 12. Aikman getting pressure, pass is caught by Ernie Mills. And Mills uh, finally brought down, but his forward progress will bring him about three yards shy of the first down. He was hit first by Leamont Evans. Aikman very sharp here, connecting on two touchdown passes to David LaFleur for the two touchdowns by the Cowboys. And Brad Johnson hitting Michael Westbrook for 41 yards for the Redskins score, and then a couple of field goals. Nick, what I'm watching right here, the, the one area that they're getting pressure from Aikman when they do get it is around Flozell Adams to the outside. It's right here, this matchup. Marco Coleman has been getting some pressure on him. Third down and three, bobbling. Oh, nice hold. Handoff. That's a, a hold all the way. Flag is down is Emmett Smith. He has the first down, but you saw holding. And they will bring it back if that's the case. And yeah, we, will. we just circled that matchup. Because it was Flozell Adams, and this is the rule, and I talked to the officials about it this morning to clarify it. When the hands come outside and latch outside, if it impedes where the defender wants to go, and in this case, I want you to watch that shoulder. Flozell Adams grabs it. Now, he's trying to work to the outside, and because he's holding that and doesn't allow him to get in there, they're going to throw that flag, and that's a good call. You can see it right there. That's a very good call by the official. They will allow a, an offensive lineman to get their hands up on them, but then you have to try to work it back inside. And if it's play side and it does prevent the defender from getting to the play, they're going to hawk it. I've heard of analysts uh, anticipating scoring, but not penalties like you did on the last play. <laughs> Third down and 13. Well, nobody in the backfield back here. That's one of the new wrinkles we'll see more of. Here comes the blitz and the pass 
incomplete. Yeah. Hickman had to get rid of it in a hurry, and it went to Warren. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, the reason he had to get rid of it in a hurry, because there's no one back there. And a way to defend that set is to bring the extra guy and force the quick throw. That enables you defensively to jump your coverage. And you know the ball's going to come out quick. That's an advantage for the defense. And if you can come clean like you did right there, you know, and Denton did come clean, the ball's right on top of him, and it has to be thrown. Toby Gowen will kick for the second time, and Brian Mitchell is back deep with 2.06 remaining in the second quarter. Redskins trying to uh, climb back slowly, down by one point. Mitchell on the return. And Brian Mitchell is uh, stopped at the 29 by Dale. Mr. Man, and guess what? Dallas puts their five receivers out. One of them is not Michael Irvin. So you're saying on third down when we have to have it, we want our best players on the field, we're giving Michael a break on third down. And of course, Emma Smith wasn't there either. As Brian Mitchell gets a burst up the middle and picks up the first down. Warren was in for Emmett Smith, so that was unusual. And the uh, hurry up. Redskins uh, line up in the hurry up. They have three timeouts remaining and a uh, design play, and it looked kind of sloppy as uh, Brian Mitchell was the intended receiver. Anyway, it stops the clock with 137 and brings up second and 10. Coming up on the Visa halftime report, JB, Terry, Howie, and Chris will have scores and highlights from around the league. In addition, We'll update you on the Vinny Testaverde injury. Ooh, that's it's an bad Achilles for the Jets. injury. Oh, boy. And uh, after a tr great year last year to help lead the Jets to the AFC title game against the Denver Broncos, he is hurt. And we'll find out how hurt. Second and 10 for Brad Johnson and the Redskins. Again, the one, and he nearly intercepted that time. Ooh. Aaron Woodson yeah. almost had himself a game changer right there. Could have changed the complexion of this thing as it is. It's going to set up this third down and 10. And just so we know, with a minute 33, Matt, in the last two minutes, the replay official, not the coaches, right, could go and challenge and change a call. The last two minutes of each half, and we're in that right now. Still three timeouts left. And this is critical for both teams. Third down and 10. Brad Johnson looking for a receiver. Oh, he has one. And going deep, wide open, James Thrash. Oh, O'Connell, Albert Connell makes the catch. He that got loose and no one was near him, and finally George Teague brings down Albert Connell. You gotta take a timeout right here. And it is a timeout, Matt, you're right. The Redskins used their first 54 yards on this play. Brad Johnson does a good job of seeing the field. He rolls a little bit to the right. And I believe Mathis, 23, yeah, it was, and fell down. And the ball came out. He was so wide open, he didn't know what to do. He almost tripped going back. Dick, Brad Johnson has seen more today in this game than the quarterbacks of the Redskins have seen for the last five years. I mean, he's seen the field completely, and he's given them a chance to make some plays just with the vision. What a big pickup for Brad Johnson, who was acquired for three draft choices. Remember, Trent Green who had uh, a good finish last year, went to the St. Louis Rams, signed with them, and so Brad Johnson came to the Redskins. Brad Johnson, 11 of 16 for 211 yards, and these are the quarterbacks that Norv Turner has had going into his sixth year, and this, these are their records. Yeah, all that looks like pretty much a bunch of uh, not very good. I'll be nice. Yeah, I'll be kind. There was some bad quarterback play here the last five years, but this guy in one game is trying to erase all that. First and goal at the six, Stephen Davis back in and running back, dives inside the five with 1.14 to go. Redskins still with two timeouts remaining and looking to take their first lead of this game. One thing Norv Turner is not going to do, he's not going to let Stephen Davis lose confidence. So after that fumble, you want him to get right back into the rhythm that he did. So if you remember, the first play back after the fumble was a handoff to Stephen Davis. And now you're getting back into critical area. And again, he hands it to Stephen Davis because he wants him to have the confidence and enough to know that he's going to be the guy. Larry Centers has also come into the game, a dangerous receiver out of the backfield. And there is a fake and the pass overthrown. And he was trying to go to Larry Centers and Dexter Coakley, the speedy linebacker on the cover. That's good coverage by Copeland. That's a tough play to defend. You go play action, 
right at you as a defender. And you're forced to make a decision. Do you step up to take on the back, or do you hang and wait for that back to clear? That time, he read it perfectly and was able to go right into the flat and have that. And then Kavika Pittman got a hand up and forced Johnson to throw it just a little bit errantly. Oakley uh, probably symbolizes the speed of this defense more than anyone. Third end and goal at the four. There's Irving, confusion. Irving Fryer in motion. Oh, Johnson open. is going to go down, loses the ball. It's a free ball. And the Dallas Cowboys have recovered. Dick, Albert Connell was wide open, reading a book in the back of the end zone. Greg Ellis forced the fumble, a big play by the second year number one pick out of North Carolina. Watch Albert Connell. He's going to go there. It's confusion. They give him bunch, and nobody sees him. They forget to cover him. He's wide open in the back of the end zone. Brad Johnson doesn't see him. He's looking to the left. Doesn't have time to see him in the back. And Greg Ellis comes through and forces that fumble and changes this completely in the first half. So twice the Redskins seemingly going in for a score have turned it over inside the 10 yard line. There is an injured Redskin and a timeout has been called by how to work a defender all these little things. All those years and experience of playing. Hey you share him and he's confident enough to tell the guy exactly how it's going to work. I I like to see that in a vet. Share the game. Teach him. Well you go back to what you said. You want to win a Super Bowl. You've got to do that. Can't be selfish. And that's what Michael Irvin Emmett Smith Troy Aikman and company are looking to do now. First down on the nine yard line. Twenty seven seconds to go. And uh, that'll do it. So the. Redskins got in the red zone were turned in by George T. On the kickoff Conway. Returned by Jeff Ogden. Ogden who has a world of speed brings it out on the return to the 29. Right now let's go down to the field and Pam Oliver. Thanks a lot Dick. Talk to both coaches at halftime. First of all Chan Gailey. He says offensively they've got to execute better. They took themselves out of too many drives in the first half. On defense he says they've got to stop giving up the big play. Norv Turner he was very succinct did not mince words. He says what we have to do is this simple. We have to stop turning over the ball inside the 10. Back to you. That's as plain as day Matt and uh, of course penalties earlier in the half also put them in a hole. They turned the ball over and like no, if you can't beat yourself that's the one thing you cannot do. Cowboys looking for better execution offensively and Emmett Smith on the handoff picks up about four yards on the play and uh, in a close game Matt, let's take a look at the halftime numbers. I think the biggest thing is look at the Redskins 280 total yards and 170. I mean this is a lot of offense and then you look at these two turnovers actually three for the total but those two for the Redskins going in. The one turnover by the Cowboy resulted in three points on a field goal after the uh, interception. Last four drives the Cowboys have been coming up empty but this time it's Emmett Smith again and a first down to the 45 yard line Champ Bailey brings down Smith after a pickup of 10 yards so Dallas keeping the ball on the ground and doing it effectively in this first series of the second half. The guy believe both these coaches Norv Turner and Chan Gilly have to maintain their patience because both these teams are running the ball well. Sometimes you get so much offense and you just want to you want all that throwing because you want to you know show what you have but just go back to pounding the ball. It's very effective. Dallas with a first down on the 44 and another fake on an end around and the pass to Emmett Smith nothing there and that time it was Sean Barber getting a chance to start this year in his second season and a loss on the play of three. Yeah I'll tell you nothing like a good old dive to pick up eight yards that's what I always say. And sometimes you know you may be sitting at home saying you're right why don't they just keep on pounding the ball. Well one of the reasons you can't do that consistently is because your defense is going to load up on you. When you get that look that's when you take advantage of the throwing. Second down and 13. Chris Warren. Is the Dallas running back. Pass caught at midfield by Ernie Mills short of the first down by four yards and that'll bring up. Third down Ernie Mills who came back from a tough injury lacerated small intestine 
Of course, uh, Chan Gailey coached him in Pittsburgh when he was the receivers coach there, and of course the offensive coordinator. Well, this sets up a third down. Aikman's been pretty good on third downs. Last time they went with a wide spread everybody out. This time they'll keep one back, but Michael Irvin is in. Yes, he is. Two catches. Third and four at midfield. Out of the shotgun. Aikman gets out of some trouble. Can't find a receiver. Dives, gets the first down to the Redskin 45. Oh, I like that. No slide for Troy that time. He went head first and got the first down. And he had to. I mean, he had to make a decision. And he knew the coverage was there, and he tried to throw. They were going to try to come right back inside with Michael Irvin. This is where he's going to look. For, Denton's going to push him back up to the safety. And so Mills is covered up high. And then you're going to look to the other side. It's Daryl Green. Again, he's pushing it back up to the safety, to the wide, to the outside. So he looks to the left and saw that there was coverage on Michael Irvin. And he had to make a decision. And the decision was to go head first and get the first. From the 45, the gift is to Emmett Smith. No gain on the play. Kennard Lang, one of the four ex number one draft picks on the defensive line, the revamp line for the Redskins, was right there to stop Smith. And when the Redskins get the ball, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Stephen Davis, who was injured before intermission. Now, I want you to watch this defensive line. This is a departure from what they did a year ago. You know, watch these guys. Everybody's coming off the ball. There's movement inside, but the key is they're being aggressive and moving forward. Last year, a lot of times, they had a tendency to sit there, and you can't play defense that way. Michael Irvin matched up with Daryl Green at the top of your picture. Troy Aikman, pass. Champ Bailey. It's intercepted by Champ Bailey. And Bailey with his first NFL interception in his first game, and he picked one off for a touchdown in preseason. He's for real, it looks like. Yeah, he's not going to quit. They're going to go after him. Yeah, because Daryl Green's playing that other side, and they're going to take things away. You're going to watch him sit inside. His job is to hold the outside flank in that zone, and he does it perfectly. Not a cloud in the sky, a beautiful blue sky, as uh, blue skies for Champ Bailey with his first NFL interception. Daryl Green, the 39-year-old who was out of high school when Champ Bailey was born. First and 10 at the 34 by, for the Redskins. And Stephen Davis, who uh, collided knees, but back in there as we go to the second half, picks up one yard on the play. Well, Champ and Darrell, and Darrell's had a lot of guys at that other cornerback spot, Matt. And he's put a lot of pressure on the other guys, and he's played with, look at all these starters on opening day since 1983, and Darrell Green's been making big play after big play en route to a Hall of Fame career. He's waited this long, 17 years, to get the best one. And a franchise record 17th year for Darrell Green. Second down and nine. Johnson on a slant, and it's caught by Albert Connell. And Connell did a lot of his best work after he caught the ball. He refused to go down and wound up getting 26 yards on the play. And he beat the strength of the corner through the tackle, but he couldn't beat the speed of Dexter Coakley. Watch the quick slant. Mathis is going to be the, he ran through that. Now it's going to turn into a foot race, and Dexter Coakley, he doesn't even blink. He just runs him right down. There's a nice job by Connell. He tries to hit second gear, but Coakley's already in it. But a tough catch and a big gain and a first down. Redskins on the 39 of the Cowboys. Brad Johnson going for Connell again. Oh, he turns the leap and a flag is down. And Charlie Williams defending. And uh, the question is, was Connell interfered with or did, did he keep both feet in bounds? You know, Dick, I don't even know what that thing's about. I'm going to tell you this. That's a great catch right. and a great effort. And a good job in the offensive line of picking up that blitz. And a pass interference call against the Cowboys, so it'll go as a good catch. He's walking, at, working outside on Charlie Williams, and there's pushing and shoving going on both sides of the ball. The pass was incomplete. We have right. pass interference on the defense, number 25. First down. Okay, they called the pass interference. That's a good call by the official calling it incomplete because he only had one foot inbounds. The other one came out of bounds. But they're going to enforce this penalty, and it'll be first and 10 from the 14-yard line going in. 25-yard play, and of course, Williams starting at cornerback al along with Mathis with Deion Sanders out, and there you see the One incomplete. Foot in, one foot out. Now, had there not been any 
contacting. That would have been a tough call because the defender did hit him and force him out. Maybe we would have had a challenge. Flag is down, and Brad Johnson trying to ad-lib something, and the pass is incomplete. It is trapped by the defender. Irving Fryer was the intended receiver. Looked like there was some movement inside against the Dallas Cowboys. And that defensive tackle, that inside right side, took off really quick. Offside, defense, 95 yards, repeat first down. That's Alonzo Spellman. And of course, uh, hidden so far in this game is the return of Alonzo Spellman, who uh, sat out all last year. They call it a bipolar disorder. It were problems for Alonzo Spellman, who had played with the Chicago Bears. Here he is back in the NFL playing tackle, not defensive end. On first and five, Stephen Davis gets to within a yard and a half of the first down. Darren Woodson making the stop. Darren Woodson's a key. You know, you mentioned about Darren Woodson made a couple of plays and he's getting up slow right now. But Darren Woodson, if I'm looking at the Dallas defense, you've got to get somebody on him because he makes so many tackles. I believe this defense in front of Dallas can be run on. Now Darren Woodson's he shook up. He's going to have to go out. But if you don't get a guy on Woodson, you're not going to have a chance to make a play because he's going to find it. Well, you know that Kevin Smith with the uh, bulging disc is out for several weeks. Deion Sanders uh, may get back next week. Now Darren Woodson out for at least a play. Singor Mobley number 27 has replaced him in the secondary at uh, strong safety. Watch Darren Woodson he's going to go in that's a he took a power knee right to the right shoulder and that uh, sometimes those things they hurt. It's power on power second down and two and this is where North Turner's got to be holding his breath Matt because the Redskins have turned it over twice in the red zone that they have gained nearly nine and a half yards per play. That's what the turnovers have done to them. Second and two and here is Stephen Davis first down it appears inside the three yard line. And they're just going to run right behind that left side. The left side of the Redskin line is the better side for run one block. You got Trey Johnson over there. And you got John Jansen, a big rookie out of Michigan, who I like. Yeah, he's a competitive guy. He's a nonstop guy. And he kind of reminds me of Steve Wisniewski from the Raiders because he does not stop. He just keeps on coming at you. One of your favorites. It is first and goal at the three yard line. And here is Stephen Davis, and he goes in for the touchdown. No turnovers this time. The Redskins get the score and take the lead. That looked like old Washington Redskin hog football. And they're going to go for two, perhaps. Watch them up front. Everybody just get a hat on everybody. Nice job by centers. Nice job by Jansen, by Sims pulling around. They just, if you notice, by the time he was hit, he was at the one yard line. They just created a wave and pushed it into the end zone. Now they're going to go for the two point conversion, leading by five at 19 to 14. One for three last year with the Redskins in the two point conversion department. And here it comes. And they go to Davis. And Davis gets it. Second effort. Wide change now. <laughs> to bounce outside. They stack it up to the inside, you take it, bounce it two steps, and you walk in. And the Redskins have taken the lead for the first time today with just under eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Washington 21, Dallas 14. You know, running... Snyder trying to get a win in his first game as owner of the Redskins. Jeff Ogden returning the kick for the Dallas Cowboys and again the Redskins are there on coverage Matt Stevens that time now I want you to watch Washington Redskins power football all it is is just coming right at you changes on and off the field uh, some some viewed to be kind of harsh but the final result is the one loss column it's his toy right now and uh, his toy is winning 21 14 and his turn Cowboys starting from the 16. Trailing for the first time today, Troy Aikman. Oh, nice play, and a great play by Darrell Green, covering Rocket Ismail. 
So this was the day that Daniel Snyder was approved as owner of the team and he took over the Redskins and made a lot of changes. Uh, he changed a lot of people in the Redskins office staff. Charlie Casserly was ousted as the general manager. Vinny Serrato brought in practically in that role. And uh, he has gone after a lot of players who are unsigned or holdouts, hasn't gotten any of them. And uh, Joey Galloway is the latest, but Westbrook plays playing today. They don't need Joey Galloway. I completely agree with that, but he needs to be consistent all the way through. Second down and 10. Aikman to Rocket, and again, he's hit, and he cannot hold on to it. And once again, it's Daryl Green with two hard plays from behind on Ragged Ismail. Right, Daryl Green's right there. Now, remember, you're saying Rocket Ismail is one of the fastest guys in the National Football League, but Daryl Green still believes he can run with anyone. When I played with him, I used to mess with him and say, Daryl, this guy's faster than you. He'd say, Give me a week, I'll beat him. And he's hanging right there with him. You remember, those are 39 year old legs, and he's still flying around. Hey, he's sorry he didn't make the Pro Bowl last he year. He should have made the Pro Bowl. He had as good a year last year as anyone. Third down and 10. Here comes the pressure on Troy Aikman. Oh, nice, nice go. Time and oh, the working. receiver fell down. Michael yeah. Irvin fell down, was not tripped, and the pass is incomplete. And the Cowboys will have to punt. Dick, they're going to go back and watch that on tape. And Champ Bailey is going to say, thank goodness, because Michael Irvin beat him. He looks inside, makes a mistake. Look at his head. He's looking in there. You cannot do that. And then he comes back outside. Had that ball been thrown better, he had a chance to be beat. Bailey already with an interception in this game. And the Redskins hold defensively. So Toby Golan kicking from inside the five. Brian Mitchell is back deep. Good kick by Golan. Mitchell back to the 32. And Ogden wrestles him down. So Jeff Ogden. Good play by Ogden. Good coverage downfield. And the Redskins. The Redskins, who have lost three in a row to Troy Aikman and the Cowboys, leading here 21 to 14. First down on their 39. Stephen Davis having a big game out over 70 yards rushing. Picks up six. Now, Darren Woodson, you saw leave the game the last time the Redskins had the ball and suffered a contusion to his right bicep, and he is looking to come back. Here's the injury now. He did it on a bounce out and he hit him right, right on the knee. It looked like a knee to the shoulder. It must have caught the bicep. Sindor Mobley uh, replaced him then and he is still in the lineup. As you see Woodson on the uh, Dallas sideline. Second and four. And on the reverse, right at a handoff to Connell. And Connell goes out of bounds. First down. So the razzle dazzle works again for the Redskins and a first down. Let's right now an NFL update. Check in with James Brown in Los Angeles. Hey Dick, not quite razzle dazzle here in Philadelphia, but take a look at Arizona trying to come back. The pump by the snake. He hits Frank Sanders. That down to the one sets up a one-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion, no good. But Cardinals trailing by 12 in the third. Back to Dick Stump and Matt Miller. They got a game going on back there. For them. And we got a game going on here. Yes, we do. We find the Washington Redskins. I'm going to keep on running the football down their throat, try to break it. First down in Dallas territory. Here is Davis changing direction effectively. Stephen Davis with yet another first down. I tell you, we knew he was big and had straight ahead power. But he's looking like he's got some bounce to the outside. It looks like he's gaining confidence what it does. He's got himself about 85 yards or so right around now. And watch how they do, how this is designed. It's designed to start here and then bounce back the other way. And he does a really nice job of seeing it. Trey Johnson gets his body out there, and then Stephen Davis is able to, to turn that corner. He's faster than you think, but he's still a north-south guy. That's his strength. Skip Hicks comes into the game, but the handoff is to Larry Centers for a couple of yards. Hicks giving Stephen Davis a breather, and you're right about his yardage. He's at 89 yards and 89. 16 carries. And Hicks will go out, and you're going to come back with the hot hand in Stephen Davis, who uh, scored the touchdown and then ran for the two-point conversion to give the Redskins their first lead of the game. Dick, we, what I like about it, 
is is the way he's getting they're just they're pounding him. it looks like the old Washington Redskins second down and eight pass complete up the middle to centers that's what he does the best close to first down yardage near the 25. Boy, the Redskins look like a different team don't they and we knew they were improved defensively but they're showing us something on the offensive side of the ball well, we knew they were improved offensively we said that right at the start with number 14 number one and then number two the guy who just caught that ball in Larry Sanders and, and I said it earlier in the game for Chan Gailey and I'll say it again when your offensive line is working it's amazing how good you can become calling the game Stephen Davis wrestled nice down play. for a loss Chad Hennings and the uh, Dallas defensive line described by Matt is taking a lot of punishment with those runs up the middle uh, this time they say we're going to come back at you and Channings did right there Chad Hennings did for a loss of one yeah, that was that was the first time we've heard Janet Chad Hennings name all day long mostly because that offensive line of the uh, Redskins has been taking it to that defensive front Stephen Davis comes out right now and you got a new personnel group with Skip Hicks coming in Hick Hicks was in moments ago but he is back in there now with Larry centers it is second down and 11 Westbrook in motion to the right play fake and the pass to centers he's got it charging for the first time he's got that and out of bounds inside the 15 close to the 10. He's a little fired up I'd say huh he's been a cowboy killer his whole career with the Cardinals and he's picking up right where he left off. Well Marco Coleman has given the Redskins that kind of spirit on the defensive side. Larry Centers has been the spark on the offense. You know in talking to Terry Rubisky the receivers coach. Terry Rubisky told me that Larry Centers is the most complete running back that he's been around since Marcus Allen. He says he can do everything. Catches the ball. He blocks. He runs well. He's a team guy. The kind that you win with. Darren Woodson is checked back in for Dallas. Skip hits with his first carry of the game, and he wins his way to about the seven yard line. Three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Dallas Cowboys at one point led 14 to 3, but the Redskins have uh, turned it up a notch and threatening to score one again. They have had six drives over 50 yards today. And Brad Johnson had hoped that that would be a scenario. And then look right up here, eight for 54 right now. Second and six, Stephen Davis goes outside on the bounce, going for the end zone, touchdown. Nice stiff arm by Stephen Davis. And speed that you don't think he has showed up. He is having some inaugural today at Redskin Stadium. So when you talk about Davis and Westbrook, as threats, not to mention Brad Johnson, you're getting it all. You know, watch him bounce this thing. He's gonna start inside, then bounce it. Now watch the stiff arm. Nice job on George T. Get out of my way. You're a DB. Now I would say there's a payback for causing my fumble, George. <laughs> the extra point attempt, Brett Conway. <laughs> and the kick is good. And the Redskins have opened up a two touchdown lead, 28 to 14. Stephen Davis, with his second touchdown of the game, now has gained 90 to a career high, which he established against these same Dallas Cowboys back in 1997. He still has a quarter to go and three minutes left in this quarter. Good chance of breaking that, don't you think? I would think so. Brett Conway with the kick, and it's Jeff Ogden. Returning from the 10 yard line and Ogden is tackled. And it was Champ Bailey who made the special teams play but it's been Stephen Davis's day as far as the offense is concerned for this Redskins team. Well and he's done it by grinding them out. He's done it the old fashioned Riggins way. And then just when you think he's all about power. He'll give you that speed and is able to take the corner but not without a punishing stiff arm to the face. I like to see that. I like that. That reminds me when I see guys run like that. It reminds me of how Walter Payton used to just attack you with that. Since the first quarter, the Redskins have outgained the Cowboys 272 to 66, and it shows. Here is Aikman flips it out, unable to hold on to it is Daryl Johnston, and that's the first time we mentioned his name today. 
And I think that's something that they have to rectify. They have to get Moose Johnson involved in this offense. And he's he's light years ahead of where he was a year ago. And he's a bigger man now. He's about 12 pounds heavier. He's got more confidence. He's not the same Daryl Johnson that was. But they he was always adept at catching the ball out of the backfield in that kind of situation. And it's great to see him come back last year after that neck surgery two years ago. Second and ten at the 33. Wayne McGarity, rookie wide receiver, is in there now, and the Aikman's pass is caught by Rocket Ismail, short of the first down by about five yards. Darrell Green gave no quarter there, and it'll be third down coming up at the 38. Darrell Green hasn't given anything away today. He's been the same Darrell Green that I've seen all these same years. Nothing has changed. And he's still helping youngsters. Tuesday, he's going to be at the Abraham Lincoln Middle School to try to encourage high school and junior high school football programs, something that the sport needs. Getting involved. I agree. Third down and five out of the shotgun. Troy Aikman. And unable to extend himself for the pass is Ernie Mills, and that'll bring up fourth now. Another down when Michael Irvin's not on the field. I don't know about that. I know you want to give the guy a rest, but it's a time when you have to have some plays made. One thing to get a number, a second receiver who's got a speed and may be the go-to guy, but you want the guy who's not go-to to at least have a chance out there. Now, Michael Herman does more things than speed. He's never been a speed guy, but right. he's beaten a lot of people a lot of years. Troy Aikman, incomplete passes on his last six attempts. And the punt by Toby Gowen. Ryan Mitchell on the run. He's dangerous. And he brings it back close to midfield. You ever have borscht? I have borscht. I have borscht in the bathroom. Get rid of it. Yeah, this is when you have to have a big play made and you have your big play receiver. Remember, his name was Playmaker. He's on the sideline. You can't make it when you're over there. First down with 150 to go in the third quarter at the 48 yard line of the Redskins. Irving fire in motion, but they go to Stephen Davis, and Davis just gets into Ooh. Dallas territory. Ooh. Trey, Trey Johnson and Dexter Coakley. <laughs> he came up with a no helmet and a bunch of dreadlocks. Even got rid of that little cap he put there, goes back on. First, there's step number one, and step number two, so you gotta protect the dreads first. Then you throw the hat back on. That man, Trey Johnson, has lost himself yeah, how many? about 40 pounds, and he's a much better player. He's a half a man and a new man. There's a whole other Trey Johnson running around out there. <laughs> Second and eight at midfield. Brad Johnson looking deep and going deep for Connell. for 136 yards so two Redskin receivers today Connell and Westbrook have gone over 100 yards receiving Conway kicking off and uh, that's Jeff Ogden at the six yard line Ogden out to the 30 where Sean Barber brings him down and Barber slow getting up you know, Dick just watching this whole scenario play itself out I just I just watched something that I haven't seen happen at Redskins Stadium here for a long, long time when it was Jack Kent Cook Stadium and before that since North Turner's been here. And that's the offense being congratulated and talked to by the defense. Instead of going, you guys stink, the over there saying, great job, right. keep it up. 32 unanswered points by the Redskins. And there you see a lot of glad handing and uh, 
The defense has done the job, and now Troy Aikman knows he's got to throw. Even though we still have a whole quarter to go, Warren for a couple of yards, and of course he's got to make the Redskins respect the running game. Sean Barber is there, and they have respected the running game today. He ran the ball. They've been running the ball pretty well. But now you're down here by 21 points. Changes the complexion a little bit. The one thing that doesn't change, you have time, so you don't have to panic. You can just you can get back in and try to establish some kind of a run game. You have a whole fourth quarter to play. Emmett Smith with 12 carries for 67 yards back in the lineup on second and eight. You got you get a matchup with Irvin outside by himself on Champ Bailey again. And the pitch is to Emmett Smith. Gang tackle. That'll bring up third and five as the time runs out here in the third quarter, and they are going wild. That's the end of the third quarter. He had just gotten married in March. New people, new system, new surroundings. He wasn't used to it. I think he's happy with the situation now. Third down and four for the Cowboys on their 36-yard line as we start the fourth quarter. And the handoff to Emmett Smith with a burst. First down and more to midfield. Matt yeah. Stevens. That's that's good patience by the Dallas coaching staff. You just keep on sticking with that. You're down by 21. But if you just go completely to the passing game, it's going to be tougher for you. They're just going to tee off on you. This time, yeah, they're pulling through there. Larry Allen and and Mills. Mills comes through acting on the old counter tee, a counter trade. They're using the wide receiver pulling through. Duck Brown has replaced Dana Stubblefield, a defensive tackle for Washington. First down, and the pitch is to Emmett Smith. And Smith with another good run, coming back inside with another first down. Emmett Smith showing a lot of the flashes of the previous years, brought down by Champ Bailey. You see him at the end there, Dick? You know what he's saying? I mean, I can't read his mind or his lips from here, but I know the sentiments of his heart as he's closing in on 100 yards. He's yelling to the sideline, like, let me have the ball. Let me do what I can do. He's frustrated. He believes that the coaching staff doesn't quite understand or appreciate what it is that he can do still. He was going, give me the ball. Let me show you. He was I pleading his that. case to yes. us yesterday, saying, I wish the coaches would give me a chance to do even more. I'm not done with my career. First down, and Emmett Smith diving forward, and a good first down gain of four yards on the play now he's over 100 yards for the day and he hasn't been in there all the time but he is what he has his heart and I, i'll never forget the giant game when he hurt his shoulder and he just kept on going and that to me epitomized what what emmett smith was all about now it's a few years back but i mean he still has that same thing and he goes out of the game now chris warren has come in emmett a yard short of 100 It'll be second down, and the pitch goes to Warren, cutting inside and short of the first down by about three. Endupe Kalu, number 72, who had a very good preseason as a nickel pass rusher, the former Philadelphia Eagle, will uh, bring up third down and short for the Cowboys. Redskins now shuttling in their defensive uh, linemen, as are the Cowboys. And the one big guy they bring in is Robert Thomas, the fullback. When he's in there, you keep your eyes on him. Chances are that's where the ball's going. He's right there. Third down. Here's Warren. He'll get the first down and more. And Liam on Evans will wrestle him down inside the 10. So Warren contributes with a big 23-yard scamper and Dallas threat. And so did Robert Thomas, just like we said. When he's in the football game, there's a reason. He's a battering ram. They take Chris Warren and they just follow. Watch Robert Thomas, he's coming. He's he's gonna meet somebody and he does oh, great job in the hole. Just clears the backer away, allows Warren to get to the second level and pick up the first down on the nine yard line. Fred Strickland, who started for Dallas, is in it linebacker for Washington. They have four linebackers in there as Warren tries to go left and is brought down by Greg Jones. No game. Yeah, Dick, remember I said earlier about they had to maintain their patience. They're down by 21 points in the fourth quarter, but they've just been pounding the football and running the football. I mean, that's what they can do well. And they're staying with it. 
you can't get 21 points in one drive. So you got to you get the seven. Now you're within 14, and now you can open it up because you've proven you'll run the ball. Ninth play of the drive, and to back up what Matt said, all have been rushes. Second and goal at the nine. Emmett Smith back in there. Aikman fires up the middle, tipped away by six. By the yeah. Sam Shade, the strong safety in the former Cincinnati Bengal. He saved the touchdown. It was headed for David LaFleur. Dick, that was almost almost exactly the same defense that resulted in a touchdown in the very first quarter. They came with a blitz inside Derek Smith. They went man to man outside. Aikman sidestepped the blitz. is going to come up. He's going to sidestep. LaFleur is going to have the same situation. Shade to his outside, and the ball's thrown. This time, Shade breaks on it and drops it away. Sam Bailey comes out. Tim Denton checks in for the Redskins. Third and goal. At the nine for Dallas. Troy Aikman's pass. And a flag goes down back to the line of scrimmage. Ismail, the receiver, and let's see whether uh, the Redskins may be called for roughing the passer as Aikman was uh, hit. Walt Coleman. And that'll be it. Roughing the passer against Kennard Lang, and it'll be an automatic first down for the Cowboys. Personal foul. Unless they rough this defense, number 90. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Well, that referee is back there on every passing situation. His sole job and purpose is to protect the quarterback. And I'm, you know, I'm for that. That's a good call. Kennard knew it right away. Kennard Lang, number 90, picks him up. He knew it right away. You can see he's going to drop his head. And uh, the rookie defensive end, Ebenezer Ekubon, is in as a third tight end on short yard. It's first and goal. And here is Emmett Smith going into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. So Ekubon, who was a tight end at North Carolina at one time, used as the third tight end for blocking purposes. And Emmett Smith going over 100 yards on the day gets the touchdown for Dallas. This is just patience by Emmett Smith. Watch him get outside Moose Johnson right there. Does a good job of staying with that block and taking up. But Emmett sheds the tackle. Even after he flattens out, he's able to get the corner and pick up the touchdown. And most of this drive, we pointed out, has been done on the ground by the Cowboys. And Richie Cunningham uh, looking to bring the Cowboys to within 14 points, and he does. And still, uh, plenty of time remaining. Lots 10 minutes time. and 43 seconds. Lots of time, lots of game, lots of fun. Join us. His brilliant career with the touchdown to bring the Cowboys to within 14 on an 11-play drive. And now the Redskins will get it back. And they've had it. They've done it. To the tune of 35 points. And they on the kickoff, no, 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 that's an onside. It didn't go 10 yards. They didn't line up for an onside kick. Oh, the Cowboys may have it anyway. The Cowboys will get it. They did not line up as if it were an onside kick, but that had to be by design by Toby Goen. Darren Woodson you better hope so, unless I he missed that completely. But I'd like to see if they if it wasn't touched before 10 yards. Here's where it, okay, this is the line it would have to be. He just missed that thing. Oh, it went 10 yards. That that's was, it. that's right here. Oh, he missed it. He just shanks that thing. He, he has to it. get to the 40-yard line before it's touched. Yeah, he couldn't cut it and that close. And it does. Close. Yeah, he couldn't cut it that close, Matt. What's that? He couldn't cut it that close. That was not an, a, an onside kick attempt. It doesn't. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, you just look at how everybody. Well, now we just how everybody's lined up. If that was designed, well, the word that's is, a heck of a design. Well, Picked the, a lot of people out. Well, the word is it, it was a design kick. And uh, let's see it. We're gonna. We may have a review. And uh, I don't know what you would review. It well, was. Walt Coleman, going what? over to North Turner, and remember that uh, if. The challenge is not overturned. With Washington has challenged the ruling on the field. What would you challenge? I'd, I'd be interested in knowing what it is. If he's challenging 10 yards, it's it went 10 yards. 
He could be challenging possession on the sideline. That that I would challenge. Is that uh, one of the things you can challenge? Yeah, it's an end yes, line. It is. It's an end line. So now here's the situation. This is what we have, and this is what they're going to be looking at upstairs. Okay, first of all, it has to go 10 yards before it can be touched. There it's 10 yards. Now there's no possession here. Now we let it go. Let's see if he has possession. Now the official's right on top of it. Let's see if he has possession of the ball. That's that wing, 59. He would be the man. He's got to have possession before he goes out of bounds, and that's a little convoluted there. It's hard to say. Now one of the Redskins may have told Norm Turner to challenge it because I'm sure the coaches upstairs let's tell from, let's from watch. where they are. Okay. Okay, here it's still in bounds. Everything's fine. Now he's got to have possession before he goes out. He's still okay, still okay. That's a good call. In my mind's eye, that's a good call. You have to have indisputable visual evidence to turn it over. Well, here's the official right there. There it is. He's got possession. That's a good call. And it's challenge. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Good call. The ball went 10 yards before it was touched by Dallas. First down. Now that, that's a good call by the official. Washington will be charged a team timeout. Jeff Rice, the umpire, was right there on top of the ball. And, and they made the right call. And of course, North Turner told us, he says, I'm going to challenge things, unlike uh, Chan Gailey. Yeah, you can see him right there. There's Rice, he's right on top of it. There's the yard line mark. He's already past the 10 yards. And then if the other thing was going to be that he didn't have control before he went out, that also, that wing did a good job of having control before he went out. It was touched. They saw the replay. And the challenge was turned back. So the Redskins now have Two timeouts left. The Cowboys keep the ball, first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Chris Warren is the running back. And the pitch goes to Warren with Darrell Johnston blocking. And Warren gets the first down and more as he moves into Redskin territory and goes out of bounds. And Dan Snyder, the 34 year old owner, is watching as you watched it. Well, his body language didn't make a bit of difference. That was a good call by the official any way you look at it. They were right on top of it. Ooh. He gets fired up over there. He's, his booth is right aside of ours, and he's high-fiving guys and jumping up and down and dancing and singing and doing all right. He's been fired up since the moment he took over. First down at the 47 of Washington. And there is Aikman, and the pass caught by David LaFleur. And LaFleur fighting for the first down, may have it. No, they're going to mark it. They're going to mark it short. Want to remind you, coming up, the second half of our NFL on Fox opening day doubleheader. Vikings and Falcons, and the viewers in the Washington area will be seeing the second half of our doubleheader, and that will be the Vikings Falcons matchup. Two teams that battle for the NFC Championship in a shock. Staying with the run game. And they've gotten back into this game. They're down by 14, but they've they're giving themselves a chance with the running game. And then that whatever that thing was, if it was an onside kick, I don't believe it was. I think he just missed it. Well, the word we get it was by design. Yeah. Uh-huh. Second down and one at the 38. He's cynic. They put the throw on second and one. Can't find a receiver, and now he comes up with it. And Eric Bjornsson, uh, the tight end who went in when Lafleur came out of the game, See, makes the catch that in the first down. And Aikman was was saying to Bjornsson, "Get up the field, get up the field." He was waiting for him to take off, and he never did. Now he bought some time, and Bjornsson comes back to the ball, but it looked like Aikman was an, was anticipating him to do something else. You can watch it. Hey, he's telling him, get up. Up the field. Emmett Smith checks back in. Under nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter of this pass intended for Michael Irvin overthrown. Saw the action by Troy Aikman, who has said publicly that he wants to change his demeanor. He has been uh, sometimes critical on the field. He's a tremendous competitor and perhaps be more encouraging than critical with body language when uh, certain things happen on the field and he made a point of telling the media down in Dallas that this is what he wanted to alter somewhat this year. Personally 
I think he shouldn't alter anything. It's the middle of the game. You can't scream at somebody for not doing something right. Then tell that guy to take a hike. This guy needs to get more involved in the offense right now. Only two catches, Matt. Emmett Smith brought down, and that was Marco Coleman. And a loss of three yards for the Cowboys. Marco Coleman, one of the guys they brought in. Watch him right down inside. They're going to try to get. He's going to jump to the inside on Eric Williams. He went underneath the block, took a chance, and it paid off for him. Marco his, Coleman. His attitude has made a yeah. big difference on the defense. He's a high energy guy, and he demands others by his actions and words to play up to that standard. Played on a very strong Charger defensive team last year. Third down and Mike three. Urban's out here by and himself. Is the fade pattern to Urban. Nice. No flag. Good coverage. Bailey on Urban all the way. I like that. I like the matchup, and I like what Champ Bailey did. He played it perfectly. Kept his body position to the inside. Now you're going to force the ball to be thrown only one way. First, they're going to run the blitz with Sean Barber coming right in Troy Aikman's space, which forces the ball to be thrown prematurely. Now, I want you to watch what Champ Bailey does. Hold the inside, give the ball one way to come, and you can just run with his speed. He's faster than Urban, so once you take body position away, it's your win. And they're going for it on fourth down and 13 yards. Fourth and 13. You've got to get to the 16-yard line. Aikman's pass broken up. Bailey again on Urban, and the Redskins take over on downs. He wouldn't have had the first down on that throw anyway. Irving right. came back underneath. He would have, it would have been first and first and ten Redskins. Now, astutely that they wouldn't have had the first down even if he had caught the ball, but only two receptions thus far. And that's the sentiment of the fans when the Cowboys are the subject here. So the Redskins begin from the 29. Stephen Davis is having a tremendous game. Gets about five or six. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it's okay. Trey Johnson just played road grader on. Well, I want you to watch Trey Johnson right inside. He's going to hit Randall Godfrey, and he's going to take him, just take him for a ride. Say, hey, Mr. Guy, how you doing, Mr. Linebacker? Let me just take you someplace. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just waffled him. Could he have done that before when he was heavier? Yeah, he, you know, amazingly, he still ran pretty well, but he didn't have the endurance that he has now. And this is when he's at his best, Trey Johnson. He's when he's down like this. He's about 320 and he's playing well. Maybe he wouldn't have done it in the fourth quarter like he's done it here. All right. Here's Davis this time going right and uh, hitting a wall and Darren Hambrick making the tackle and no gain on the play. Well, how much has Trey Johnson changed from a year ago, man? Well, this was last year, Trey Johnson, and that's, you know, that's plus 40. That's an extra 40 LBs that, he's, that he has on his, on his frame. And this is Trey Johnson this year. And, you know, you could tell the difference because the sevens look a little bigger than they did a year ago. And those sevens were smaller last year, and they were a little farther apart. Best way to show it. There's last year, and there's this year. Third down and four. Skip Hicks has come in as the tailback. Play fake. Brad Johnson. And the pass is incomplete. And the Larry centers the intended receiver. By the way, Emmett Smith going over 100 yards, and uh, Michael Urban has not done much today, but uh, David LaFleur with two touchdown catches. He was uh, shaken up. You remember the last possession. Suffered sprain right knee and ankle but uh, the Cowboys expect him to come back. OK Dick now you're down by you're down by 14 points. You got six and a half minutes to go. This is the drive. The Cowboys are going to get in this. They have to do it right here. And, and it won't all be running plays. Either. And you're still going to have they still have three timeouts. So there's a lot of time and a lot of game to play. Matt Turk with the kick. Wayne McGarity will let the ball drop. And it uh, dies, helping the Cowboys, and out of bounds. So the ball will be at close to the 35-yard line when we come. In. And so they presented to the Cowboys, and the Cowboys declined it. But you can't just kick the ball. You could have picked it up and downed it, or just set it down and downed it. But you can't kick it out of bounds. Cowboys, 6:15 uh, to go in the fourth quarter, and they'll have a first down at the 34-yard line. If the Troy Aikman, one of those quarterbacks who 
can engineer this kind of a comeback. There you see the numbers thus far today 16 of 33 two touchdowns two interceptions but Brad Johnson has not made a mistake for the Redskins and that has been a major difference in this game. Aikman was was really hot early and then since that first interception he's really cooled off. Remember on, on third downs he was four for four and then since that four for four on third down they haven't been good. Now you can look at it two ways that either he's cooled off or that the Washington Redskins defense has heated up. Maybe a little of both. Well next week on Fox Major League Baseball Yankees and Indians 55 home runs and the Oakland A's chasing the Boston Red Sox for a wild card. First down at the 34 for the Cowboys. Matt mentioned they still have all three of their timeouts remaining. And on first down, Troy Aikman's pass to Rocket Ismail complete. And a first down into Redskin territory. Good catch there by Ismail and an 18-yard pickup. Real nice catch. Ball's well thrown. Daryl Green's right on top of it. Sometimes, you know, you can do everything right defensively and everything right offensively and this is going to happen. I mean that's just that's a good play all the way around. You can't mark it poorly on any aspect of the play. On first down the pitch is to Evan Smith and Smith gets about two on the play. Jamel Williams has replaced Sam Shade at strong safety for the Redskins. He's number 22 and a former linebacker out of the University of Nebraska. But the clock running nearly five and a half to go in the fourth. There's Williams. And the Cowboys face a second and eight. A play fake. Here comes pressure on Aikman. Michael Irvin drops the ball. He was wide open at the 40 and couldn't hold on. They can't drop him. You don't have many chances. The ball's right there. He beat the coverage. It's right in his hands and he dropped it. There's no excuse. Michael Irvin would be the first one to tell you there's no excuse. That's a good job by Irvin back there. Avoiding things and buying the time necessary to make this play. He just started to run before he before he caught the ball. Michael Irvin has two catches for 60 yards, but both of his receptions came in the first quarter. So it's been a long drought. Third down and eight. And the give is to Warren. And Warren is brought down by Kalu short of the first down. But you know the Cowboys will go for it here on fourth down as we wind down to five minutes to go. Yeah, you go for it here. Well, they did it before. And you have to. You have to do it right now. They did it with third and uh, fourth and 13. And so it, now they need about two yards. Now you're down to. What 445? Fourth and two. Let's see how good your offensive line is. Emmett Smith, and he's got Daryl Johnston blocking for him, and Smith gets the first down to the 37 yard line. Well, you see how, how good is your offensive line? There's your answer. And they just powered it right up inside, and that's a play that would not have been run a year ago. But with Stepnowski in there now. They're a lot better. David LaFleur, who uh, was out briefly with uh, a sprained knee and a sprained ankle, is checked back in. There you see him, number 89. Four minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Mm, Daryl Pounds is working on Michael Irvin out here one more. Cowboys on the 37, and they're going for Irvin, and the flag is down, and Irvin makes the catch. It's a touchdown. Pounds back. Bounced him and Urban finally makes the catch and a flag is down. Where was Champ Bailey on that? Well, he's on the sideline getting worked on. Michael Urban lined up, had Daryl Pounds working man to man on him. And not only did we see him, but Troy Aikman saw him. On the defense, number 31, a penalty's declined, touchdown. Good call, good throw, and I don't know if he was in, in the end zone. I don't know. It would be the ball. It would be the ball. The ball has to cross the plane. Let's see what happens. There's the catch. But it's end zone line extended, Matt. Yes, it is. But let's see where his body. Let's see what happens. 
what it hit the cone and the cone is part of it and you're right that's a touchdown good call by the official Richie Cunningham with the extra point and so now the drama heightens here at Redskins Stadium the Cowboys are now down by only seven with just under four minutes to go now he's down see the ball right here he's going to keep on coming down and it's going to fall short right there that's short of the cone, but you so don't that want to would not be a that. score. You don't want to challenge that because you're at the half yard line. Chances are he's going to score anyway. Right. That's one of those plays you don't want to challenge unless it's the last play of the game. And the kickoff goes into the end zone by Toby Gowen, and the Redskins will bring it out to the 20 yard line. And so uh, now it's up to the Cowboys defense to try to get the Redskins to give up the ball as soon as possible. And uh, if not, they're going to have to use some of those timeouts. They have 344 remaining, and Brad Johnson having a brilliant first game in a Redskin uniform. And he's, he's throwing the ball well, and he's it's at like at about 14 yards to throw, but you can take all this stuff right and take that and throw it right out. Okay. Because now is when he needs it. And now is when Stephen Davis needs to be the 100 yard rusher. And he's got, because you look up here and you got 345. And you're up by seven. Now is when you have to be good. Because you've got Troy Aikman waiting on the other sideline. First down from the 20-yard line. And Johnson will throw on first down. And he's going for Westbrook. <laughs> and Westbrook <laughs> with the catch. And he made the catch. Bobbled it, but had possession before he went out of bounds. And he gets into Cowboy territory. Kevin Mathis covering on the play. Now, this is an end line, and this would be subject to instant replay if they wanted to have the possession but that's clearly possession and great great job of getting down one knee equals two feet Mathis tried to go up with it but great job of concentration by Westbrook and if you're Chan Gailey and you do challenge it you lose a timeout you don't want that at this point you're going to need those timeouts on the 49, Stephen Davis carries. Oh, oh, oh and, baby. Uh, picks Hello. up a couple of yards. Darren Woodson, who was shaken up earlier, comes back with an exclamation tackle. And Dexter Coakley was right on top of it. Woodson hit him low, and Coakley hit him high. Cowboys will uh, use their first timeout and stopping the clock with 3.26 to go. It'll be second down and six. I want to remind you the second half of our doubleheader on this opening Sunday. The Vikings and the Falcons. What a beauty matchup between the Vikings, 15 and 1, but denied the Super Bowl bid by the Atlanta Falcons at the Metrodome last uh, year in the NFC Championship game. And the folks here in Washington get home from the game, or if you're watching, you'll be able to tune in and see the Vikings and the Falcons. Dick, if you. Uh... You watch that game. If it's half as good as what this game has been, they got to bargain in for another treat. Yep. There is Aikman and Irvin, who teamed up on that 37-yard touchdown strike. But now the Cowboys looking to get the ball back for one last shot, trailing by seven. Two timeouts. You got a lot of time left. Their defense has to come up with something. They're going to have a shot. They're going to have to prevent a score here and get the ball back for them. It doesn't have to be right here, but it has to be obviously in the series. They need seven yards for the first down. And Stephen Davis trying to go wide, and he is tackled by Dexter Coakley, and that speed from the linebacking position, and a loss of three on the play, and another timeout quickly called by the Cowboys. So they are left with one timeout and 3.20 showing on the clock, and it'll be third and ten. Well, today's game is being produced by Richard Zions and directed by Artie Kempner. The associate director is timeout remaining. It'll Big third down. Ten. Yes. Brad Johnson passes out to centers, and he's not going to get close. Fourth down coming up. Centers gets into Dallas territory, a pickup of about a yard. Kevin Mathis was there, and the Cowboys will use up their third and final timeout now but they'll get the ball back you see Dexter Copeland came flying in and his helmet came flying out watch everybody converge on the ball everybody in <laughs> there goes and there goes yeah that's uh Randall Godfrey Randall Godfrey I thought it was Copeland he's been everything else has been flying around on Copeland all day <laughs> 
That Dallas defense sure can run. Well, the you defense. saw it on that previous play, yeah. Dick. Yeah. When he tried to bounce it outside, Coakley ran that thing down in the second. Well, the Cowboy defense did their job. Now Joe Avizano sending in the special teams crew. And the Cowboys now uh, will transfer the burden as Deion Sanders watches and waits for his opportunity. Couldn't go today with the injured toe, although he tested it in the pregame warmups. Now it'll be on the shoulders of the Troy Aikman. And on the other side, the Redskin defense. Dallas defense will be better when 21 gets in the lineup, oh. as will their return game. It'll help a lot, not only coverage, but the run game as well, because it'll free up Darren Woodson. Matt Turk with the kick and a fair catch called for by Wayne McGarity at the 10 yard line. David LaFleur went in uh, for x rays. So uh, LaFleur, who has caught two touchdown passes today, and apparently uh, not going to be in the series. Troy Aikman, who has posted those numbers, has three minutes and one second and no timeouts to get the Cowboys into the end zone. And it's not a field goal. They need a touchdown to tie the game and an extra point. Long way to go. Got themselves 90 yards. Now, everybody talked about the improvement of this Redskin defense. Now they'll have their chance to do it. Dow, Dow Green standing out there. Champ Bailey standing out there. Marco Coleman. And uh, Marco Coleman had a head of steam, and uh, a penalty flag is down. And let's see whether uh, he was uh, blatantly guilty of offside. Well, no time ran off the clock in a five yard penalty. Emmett Smith on the sidelines right now as Ismail, Urban, Mills, and Ogden are the four wide receivers out there for the Cowboys with Chris Warren, the running back. It's first and five. Aikman's pass is caught by Mills, and he goes out of bounds after getting the first down to the 21 with just under three minutes remaining in the four. Now, there's a way to defend. You have to try to make the tackle. You're going to give up some field, but you want to make the tackle with no timeouts. You want to make the tackle in bounds and let that clock run. That's what you'll try to do. Aikman will know that, and he'll try to throw to the outs and defend that. Now, at one point in here, the middle of the field, Still at three minutes, you got a lot of time. He's going to use the middle of the field here sooner or later. Remember the Lakers Cowboys miss. No timeouts remaining. Play is down again. Free play. And this pass is caught. It goes out of bounds. Chris Warren, the running back. Looked like they jumped over on the left side of the Washington defense. And it will be against the Redskins, so uh, Aikman did indeed have a free play. Offside, 90 of the defense. Five yards, still first down. Kennard Lang, so the Cowboys get a first down because of two Redskin penalties. Well, it's going to be first and five. First and five, I should say, yes. And, and they're the, on the 26. Uh, but you still got 250 to go in a lot of time. You have to take away the deeps. You're going to give up some field, but you have to defend the sidelines. And again, no timeouts. Low snap from center, and the flag is down. Now that, see, either stopping the play right away, that means it's offensive. False start apparently is the call, and uh, not helping things was the low snap. Prior to the snap, false start, 76 offense, yep. five yards. That's Flozell Adams, and that's the last thing the Cowboys need at this point are uh, self-destructing penalties. Yeah, you're right back where you were. Only thing that changed is eight seconds. That's a lot at this stage it of is. the game, though. Now, if you start defending the sidelines too strongly and you open the middle of the field, that's when Aikman will take advantage of the middle. And get a huge chunk that way. Three of the four wide receivers lined up to the left. 
And there goes another flag down, and uh, Marco Coleman, this pass is caught by Michael Irvin. And it would be a first down, but a flag went down at the snap. Coleman jumped again. That's the third straight flag. I mean, third consecutive. Fourth flag in this little series. Two on Coleman. This is a stutter step drive so far. Offside. 99. Decline. Defense. Clean will be fine. First down. 246 on the clock. Very quietly, Matt, the Dallas Cowboys are inching upfield. Yes, they are. And, and with that penalty, the clock stops again. Now you picked up some more field in four seconds. Cowboys started at the 10. Now they're at the 34 yard line. And this pass caught by Rocket Ismail out of bounds. About a yard and a half, maybe two shy of the first down, but they didn't use up a lot of time. And now they're up to the 43. Very patient. By Aikman. Very, very patient. And you're just going to use the speed. That's nice by Rocket Ismail. He's going to run up on you, and then he's betting that he can outrun you to the side. It's that simple. You know, no one has left Redskins Stadium. Everyone is standing, and they are holding their collective breaths here. It is second down and two. Aikman again, and this time Aikman's pass, and it's ruled a catch and a first down, nice. stopping the clock, and it was Jeff Ogden. And again, now the Cowboys at midfield with 2.36 to go. I want you to see what they're doing. They're playing what's called a two deep. They're going to leave this open. Then they're running five guys underneath here. And they're betting that you're not going to go down here. They want five guys underneath to defend that short route. At one point, somebody's going to test the middle of that field. And Wayne McGarity has replaced Jeff Ogden. First down in midfield. 2.36 to go in the fourth quarter. Cowboys have been out of timeouts for a while now. And Troy Aikman getting the rush. And the pass is incomplete. And the play Kalu with the pass rush on Aikman. That was a nice job by Kalu. Good job of coming outside because they need something right now. And they got it. You're going to watch him up on the top side working on Eric Williams. Goes with the fake spin. Williams bit on it to the inside and then he came back to the outside. That's a pretty good job of awareness by Aikman of getting rid of the ball and avoiding not only the sack, but also the uh, penalty for downing the ball. Emmett Smith watching things from the sideline. Second down and 10. And the handoff is to Chris Warren. And Warren charging and gets the first down and goes out of bounds. Aikman with the handoff to Warren. And now the Cowboys are inside the Redskin 40. 2.25 to go, a gain of 12. And they have picked up huge real estate in a short period of time. This is an excellent job of finishing the run by Chris Warren. He knows what the first down marker is. He knows he has to stop the clock by getting out of bounds. But watch him lower the shoulder. Just run over Dow Green to get the first. Now, an important thing to remember right here is that the Redskins have to defend the field. You're working against the clock, but really, it's the end zone. Doesn't matter about a field goal. The end zone matters. That was a direct snap to Warren, and Emmett Smith has come in the game. Flag down. And Emmett Smith throws the ball away. Kalou putting some pressure on again. The Redskins have been called three times for a defensive penalty, and I think a fourth coming up now. It looked like Kennard Lang jumped again. Boy, oh, Coleman twice. Or Kalou, whoever's on that left side. Let's see if it was Lang this time. Offside, defense, five yards, still first down. Amazing how the Cowboys taking advantage of penalties on the def defensive side. Mike Nolan, the defensive coordinator, and now they are in real uh, solid shape with 2.19 to go. Don't forget, they will have the stop stoppage of the clock at the two-minute warning. It's lack of discipline on the defensive front. That's tough. That's a mental discipline, especially at this time of the game. And David LaFleur, who went in for x-rays, is back on the sideline. First and five on the Redskins 33. No timeouts left for the Cowboys. Troy Aikman stepping up in the pass. is caught by Rocket Ismail, and he's got a first down inside the 15. 
And 2-10 to go. Dallas not making any effort to get anything going. Perfect. That was and the two-minute warning done. will be coming up. That's when they use the middle of the field. Got down to two minutes. It's going to stop the clock right. anyway. Take him right down to the 14-yard line, and you're in great shape. That was a 19-yard gain, and he is the surgeon right here, Troy Aikman, to his new receiver, Rocket Ismail. It'll be first and 10 inside the 15 when we come back. Two minutes to go. The Redskins leading by seven, but the Cowboys, who started on their own 10 with three minutes to go, helped by three Redskin penalties, have a first down on the Washington 14, needing a touchdown and an extra point to win it. And with the tie, Emmett Smith going around the right side and out of bounds. Smith out of bounds on the left side, and the clock stops with 1.55 to go. This is an eternity with 1.55. The ball is at the 12-yard line. Very patient. It's been a very patient drive by the Cowboys. Now they want to try. They want to score for sure. But they don't want to score too fast. Give Brad Johnson himself a chance coming back. Ninth play of the drive coming up. Cowboys have no timeouts left. Second and seven. And Aikman going for the end zone. And the pass is broken up. Leamon Evans. Boy, he had a pick. Breaking too. up the pass intended for Rocket Ismail. He's not getting up. He's down for the count over there. Leamon Evans had himself a nice break on the ball and really had an opportunity to make an interception. And he's going to stay down here. Rocket's going to break to the out. Leomont reads it perfect. See, he's breaking on it way before. He had a chance. If he goes for two hands in that ball, he has a chance for an interception. And the Redskins will use their second timeout because of the injury to Leomont. And seven for the Cowboys on the 11-yard line of the Redskins. Matt Stevens is in. You see the guy who's talking to him right now to calm him down and give him some perspective is Daryl Green. He's going to keep him down, say, hey, just relax, do what you have to do. Now, Jamel Williams, another young guy, they go to the right man to get a little confidence and tip. Redskin fans on their feet, urging on the defense. Third and seven. Remember, the Cowboys have two downs now. To get the first down, and here's Troy Aikman and his pass to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown, and it's Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin ties the game if the extra point is good. What a comeback by the Cowboys, who are trailing by three touchdowns coming into the fourth quarter. Well, when you need a play to be made, he still goes back to the playmaker. We watched today with five time and five receivers on the field. Michael's not one of them. When you had to have the big play, Ir Irvin was the name that was called. And Aikman made sure the ball was where it had to be. Now Richie Cunningham with the critical extra point. And the kick is good. And the Cowboys have tied it at 35-35. Awful close to that thing hit yeah. the upright and almost didn't make it. Okay, so now it's tied. You still have one timeout and a minute 45 for the Washington Redskins. All they need is a field goal, nothing more. He's working outside. Dow Green sitting back in his zone and the ball, he just ran right inside the zone. Michael Irvin with two receptions in the first quarter, shut out till the fourth. And he has caught the last two touchdown passes by Troy Aikman, a 37-yarder, and now this 11-yard toss. And the extra point tying the game, Troy Aikman with four TD passes. And you're right, he hooked this one and just made it. <laughs> I mean, he hit the upright. Look at this. Doink. Oh. And he doinked it to the inside. Can you imagine coming back all this way and then you miss an extra point? And falls short by one point. I think one of the linemen would have kicked him through the through the goal post. He got the rub of the post on that one. What a great, great game we've had here. Vinny Serrano, who is uh, now in charge of uh, player personnel on the right, and uh, Daniel Snyder, and of course Norm Turner, sweating this one out. 
Cowboys, by the way, have the best opening day record in the NFL. They're trying to make it 30 and 9. It's just the kickoff. And it will be uh, touched in the end zone. That was a good decision by Brian Mitchell. That was really well played. Good patience and good judgment. Because he knew if he had to pick that thing up, he wasn't going to get back to the 20, so he just let it roll into the end zone. Remember when the Cowboys had to go 90 yards with 3.01 to go? Well, he went 90 yards in 10 plays. So 21 unanswered points by the Cowboys after 24 unanswered by the Redskins earlier. Watch Mitch. You know, if he's a Benton man, he lay his odds down right here. It's got to go in because he's taking an awful chance. If it dies right there, as soon as he got over that end line, he made sure he picked it up. Redskins have one timeout remaining. Brian Mitchell is in the game on first down from the 20. Brad Johnson needs one more offensive series and the pass to Irving Fryer. They haven't gone to him much today, incomplete. And once again, Norm Turner finding himself in a close game, and they have not been kind to him. Norm Turner, 4 and 16, is his record in games decided by three points or less. Well, he's in another one right now. Yes, he is. The great thing about all those passwords, none of that stuff matters when you're playing the game right now. It's anybody's game, and they've got the ball. Second and 10 at the 20. A minute 42 remaining in regulation. Grant Johnson's toss incomplete. He was going to Larry Centers, and it'll be third down. Darren Woodson on the coverage. The problem here, uh, Matt, is that uh, if you're three and out, then you give the Cowboys a chance to get into field goal position to win it. And that was a nice job. Kavika Pittman got some pressure, and Brad Johnson felt that pressure. Boy, I was wrong. Arizona came back and beat Philadelphia. It's not the first time. It won't be the last, that's for sure. For any of us, Stephen Alexander has come in for Larry Centers on third and ten. Out of the shotgun, Brad Johnson stepping up in his pass overthrown. He was going for Michael Westbrook. And that'll bring up fourth down. And so with a minute 32, the Cowboys, who have scored 21 unanswered points, can get the ball back and perhaps get in the field goal range and win what would be one of the storied games of this incredible series. Back is McGarity. And the kick it will be Matt Turk. Nice job on the blitz. Good call by Dave Camp on that third down to force that throw. And Darren Woodson applied the pressure to force it. Here's Turk. And that kick out of bounds. That kick. And it is. And it's near midfield. The official is marking it at the 47-yard line of Dallas. A 33-yard kick by pro bowler Matt Turk. So Michael Irvin and company and Troy Aikman have a chance now to get in a field goal range with 122 to go. This is the yardage game this quarter only. You ever see anything <laughs> like that, man? What a great game. It's Aikman. unbelievable. We had a thou we've had about a thousand yards of offense in this game yes. today. Troy Aikman tying a career high with four touchdown passes. Michael Irvin. Five catches for 121 yards, including two scores. Look at the second half score. They have 911 yards gained in this game. But it all comes down to here. 122 to go, and the pass incomplete. And it was intended for Ismail, but two flags are down way deep in the secondary. Leomont Evans tried to give it a run, but he's he's hobbling off the field. He can't go. Now this may be too many men on the field or an illegal substitution. Illegal substitution, 12 men on the field on the defense, five yards, still first down. I tell you, Redskin penalties in the last series in this one really putting a dagger in their heart. That would be your 12th guy right there. They've got 12. That's a good defense you can get away from with it. Couldn't. First and five at the Washington 48 with a minute 19 to go. No timeouts. Troy Aikman may not need any. And there's a direct snap again, this time to Emmett Smith. He did it in the last series with Chris Warren, and now the direct snap to Emmett Smith to the 45, short of the first down by a yard. 
And the clock winding down to a minute. Watch Mark Stepnowski. Now he's looking first, and he just snaps it over to the left to Emmett as he cuts across. Under a minute to go. And this pass. Oh, pitch is picked off. Darryl Powell on the deflection. Darryl Green got his hand in there first. Wayne DeGarrity was the intended receiver. And Darryl Pounds came up with the pick. Aikman tried to force that ball to McGarrity inside. And Darryl Green was all over his coverage. The ball popped out of there. And Pounds was right there to pick it off. What a huge interception by the Redskins because the Cowboys were about to get into field goal range to win this game. And now with 49 seconds to go, the Redskins get it back. Aikman's looking for him. He knows he wants it the whole way. Dow Green gets his left hand in there, and the ball pops up. Pounds is right there. Good defense by Dow Green. And that is the third interception by the Redskins today. And so they have a chance now with under a minute to go, 49 seconds, and still one timeout to get into field goal range for Brett Conway. Aikman's third interception. Redskins on their 37 yard line. Brad Johnson stepping up and his pass. And they'll ruin it. Pass. It's a catch. catch by Irving Fry. They gotta go to hurry up. They gotta hurry up and get this thing rolling. 35 seconds and running. Irving Fryer with the catch. Redskins with one timeout left. Dallas is out of them. They're on the 47 of Dallas. Here is Brad Johnson. Ailing knees and all, and his pass intended for centers off his hand, incomplete, and that stops things with 18 seconds. He's going to try to find Larry Centers and Brad Johnson for a hobbled guy. I mean, he was hobbled on Friday. He's moved around pretty well today. He bought some time. I'd also like to say right now, and maybe it's the wrong time, but John Jansen, that rookie tackle, he's turned himself in a heck of a football game. They've left him out there all by himself, and he's done well all game long. Brett Conway, if he can get a chance. Two for two today to give the Redskins perhaps a win in regulation. Second and ten at the 47-yard line. Here comes the blitz, a fumble, and the pass, and the flags are down downfield. There's a flag. Michael Westbrook defended by Kevin Mathis and a flag downfield. This is going to be interference against Dallas on Mathis. And Michael Westbrook actually stopped his route. In between. And so if I was Dallas, I would say. I mean, if I was Dallas, I'd say, hey, that wasn't a catchable ball. You're going to watch him work to the outside. He's got him. He just kind of slows down. And then. I mean, the argument could be said that it was not catchable because he didn't let me catch it. In any event, the Redskins are inside the Cowboy 20. Five yard line. They are in field goal range for Brett Conway. 12 seconds remaining in regulation. And the Skins with one timeout left. Conway warming up. Here is Skip Hicks. Or check it, Brian Mitchell with the handoff. And that'll do it as they'll stop the clock, call the timeout, and try to win it here. On this play. Tied at 35. This is for the win. Conway picks it up and does a yak. Darryl Yepremian and time runs out in regulation. Was that a bad snap or just a missed hole? Regardless, we're going into overtime, boys. This is about as unpredictable a game as you could <laughs> unbelievable. dream of. It's unbelievable. It's a snap from Turk to Turk, and that's uh, that's on Matt the punter. Hit him right in the hands. Actually, this isn't a bad job by Conway of just throwing the ball up in the air and at least giving it a shot. Actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of stupid because if you throw it up and a Dallas guy gets it, he could run it. He could sudden. go all the way back. Yeah. The worst that could happen is you go into overtime, so he should have just held on to it. But you're not thinking about that at this point. Chan Chan Gailey. Gailey. He knows. Uh, scores wins. Each team gets two timeouts. Dallas, you're the visitor. What's your choice? Tails. Call the tails. It is a heads. 
Washington won the toss. Right. Take that one. That might be the play of the game. Redskins will get the ball and it ends up a tie. Toby Gullen with a short but high kick. And Brian Mitchell returns for the Redskins. And he is wrestled down. Shy of the 25 by Isel Reese. Nick, remember in the inaugural game here at Jack Ken Cook Stadium, it was against Arizona, and it was a 1913 win for the Washington Redskins on a last play of the game touchdown to Michael Westbrook, who made that diving catch into the end zone. And the Redskins, including Michael Westbrook, uh, having some career highs today. Here's Westbrook at the bottom with 159 yards. Well, what about Brad Johnson? 358 yards. Stephen Davis over 100. Albert Connell, 137 yards. Irving Fryer is in the game. He went in motion. Brad Johnson's pass incomplete. Connell, the intended receiver, and all over him, Charlie Williams. And Connell holding his hamstring after that one. Yeah, he felt a tweak in that hamstring. Good call, Matt, and uh, he's going to come out. Albert Connell, who is the other receiver along with Michael Westbrook in the Redskin plans. Irving Fryer is going in. Shane Bailey, steel eyed on the action. Second and 10. Johnson again with a slant. Caught oh, this time by Larry Sinners. Boy, short of the first down, but only by a yard and a half. Boy. Darren Woodson read that thing and saw it coming a mile away. And he broke in that ball, and the ball was a good catch, but Woodson went for the big hit. Just missed it. I want to remind you, the game's coming up when we are finished here in Redskins Stadium. Vikings, Falcons, 49ers, Jaguars, Giants and Buccaneers, Lions and Seahawks. Most of you will see Minnesota and Atlanta. And that includes the viewers here in the Washington area. That is a first down. For the Redskins. Brad Johnson, what a, an acquisition for the Redskins. We talked about the other quarterbacks they've had, and he can get them where they want to go, perhaps that playoff, but they haven't seen it in a long time. Well, they've got to keep him healthy. They've got to keep him healthy, and they got to get the ball to Larry Sanders. Larry Sanders is another great acquisition for this Washington Redskins team. Me, me. Ball on the 34 yard line. Blitz coming, and this pass is caught by Fryer, and that's a first down. Irving Fryer, who is a sportscaster in Philadelphia, came out of retirement at 36 years of age. Yeah, this goes back to Johnson and reading everything, and he sees the blitz, he knows what he has to do, and a good job by Irving Fryer of also realizing what's going on and breaking that route off. Get to the outside, he knows the hot man, ball's where it has to be. He was not very pleased with the way his career ended last year. Philadelphia and he he welcomed this chance again 14 yard gain as the Redskins go over 500 total yards here is Steven Davis and Davis picking up about seven yards into Dallas territory before Charlie Williams comes up and makes the play and the limping there is uh, Mike Sellers it's a big fullback and they bring him in to block people and he does a good job but on that last play they just Put it on the trade train coming around the corner. When you get Trey Johnson, and he's running that well and get moving, you're going to get some yards, some positive yards. Well, Connell uh, came off with the hamstring that appeared, and now Sellers goes out. Centers is in there in second and three, and this pass intended for Fryer and defended well by Charlie Williams. Crowd nice. looking for a flag, but none coming. Nice by Charlie Williams. Nice anticipation. Jump back to the inside. Knowing that the blitz is coming and he's going to have to get rid of the ball fast. Urban Fraz is going to try to jump to the middle. Now he sees it. Now watch, it. just come in. That's nice. Had the ball been thrown up higher, he had himself a chance. Johnson's more of a, he's a, kind of a touch passer. He's not, a, he doesn't have a big, strong arm. Third down and three at the 45 of Dallas. Johnson is a sack from behind. By Greg Ellis, number one draft pick last year out of North Carolina, and that is his second sack of the game. He also recovered a fumble. That play was made by Charlie Williams because he wanted to throw the ball out in the flat, and Williams was right there on the coverage. And because of the coverage, he had to pull it back down, and then he was sacked from behind. But Williams is, the, is to be credited for that. 
Williams playing big in this sequence. Pass defense and penetration. So Matt Turk will be kicking. And Wayne McGarity is back deep for the Cowboys. And McGarity will let it bounce. And uh, the Redskins will down it at about the five yard line by Chris Thomas. Last time Turk punted, it was only a 33 yarder and to tie the game. And now he's at the five yard line, only this time he doesn't need the touchdown. A field goal will suffice. Emmett Smith. Bump, ball's loose. And the fumble. We'll wait for the official call, and it's kept by the Cowboys. You better believe there's a lot of fighting going on down there. The official, see this guy right here? There's the key. Referee pointed that way. That ball did pop loose by Emmett Smith. Ooh, Is that Daryl Johnson at the yeah, bottom? That's Daryl Green on the bottom, getting into it with Everett McGyver. Daryl's fired up. They came. Larry Allen coming around on that OT, although it's an OB with the back. The ball game popping out of there. And Daryl Johnston recovered it. Close call for the men in blue. It'll be second down and five from the 10. We're in overtime. Daryl Pounds is down here again on Michael Irvin. See if they take advantage of it. Hickman looking one way, and he flips it out to Emmett Smith. Smith turning the corner and out of bounds, close to the first oh, down, he got the first. and he's got it. Emmett Smith with the first down after the fumble on the last play. Emmett's turned himself in a good game here today, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's hungry. Good job. He's looking up top. See, there's. He looked up top. There was nothing there, so he came back. Good coverage all the way around, and nice protection. Yeah, a little bit of nerves going on up there. Meanwhile, Emmett Smith has gone out of the game, and you know that's got to get under his skin. Chris Warren is in there, at least the way he talked to us yesterday. First down from the 16-yard line, and the pass to Down Johnston. And uh, Moose, as you hear from the uh, fans here, knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Remember, each team with two timeouts in the overtime session. We're tied at 35. At one time, the Cowboys led 14 to 3. Then the Redskins led 35 to 14 going into the fourth quarter before Dallas tied it with three touchdowns. Second and six. Chris Warren is the back on second down, and the swing pass out to Warren. And he is knocked out of bounds. Greg Jones was there on the far side. That's a, that's a good play by Greg Jones. That's a tough position to be in. Chris Warren coming straight at you with his shoulders squared, and you have to make sure you don't miss that tackle. So what you do is you use the sideline as your next defender. So you jump a little to the inside and invite him to come inside, and then you bounce him outside. Ever coming up next, most of you will see the Vikings and the Falcons, no score in that game, that's underway. Third down and two. And they're all big now. Emmett Smith back in. Play action. And oh, he's got it wide open. Deep. He's got Rock and Ismail. He's got it. So He'll score, boy. and the Cowboys will win. 76 yards. Ends the game in overtime. A record for Troy Aikman, five touchdowns in a single game. And the Dallas Cowboys have stung the Redskins 41 to 35. In one for the ages between Dallas and Washington. Little play action inside and the safety's bit. All they needed was one step forward and Ishmael was wide open. Wide open. Watch the play action. Watch the time. Good fake by Troy Aikman. Nothing here has all day. Just has to get the ball out there. And I want you to watch 
There's the bite. The safeties, Matt Stevens, bit hard, and then it, nobody had a chance. I mean, he could have run from here to Bethesda, and they still wouldn't have caught him. Nice job. Here's the key. See the safeties? Safeties up. Ismail back. No time. A lot of time here, and it's all she wrote. And Rocket Ismail in his first game in a Dallas uniform laps the field, and the Cowboys win in overtime. And so for Matt Millen, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from Redskins Stadium. The final score, the Cowboys 41, the Redskins 35. Stay tuned to Fox Sports for the second game of our doubleheader coming up right after these messages. So long, everybody.